Hey, what's up, Michael? All right, my sound's definitely working. Just had to test that. It's been a couple weeks, man. How you been? Yeah, we're just gonna... We're gonna be chilling today. I had a really busy work week on Friday. I had to work like 16 hours doing some... Like, we had to move some server stuff for work. So I was like dead all of yesterday. Now I'm trying to relax. I'm, I got some time this Sunday, so we're going to be playing some Medieval Dynasty. And initially I was going to, like my last video, I had done like a, a quick start. And I only did like one day, but I felt like for consistency of the video, it would be better if I just started over. And I guess I'll create a character. I was like taking this guy, just editing him up a little bit. We're gonna make Rasmir look like a hobo. Or Jesus. I agree though, man. Yeah, we could need to, uh, we need to chill out sometime. Hang out. You vote Jesus. I should have named him Jesus. He is the chosen one, at least for today. Hey, Griff, how's it going? Now nah, we literally just started. I will save the oxbow. That is the plan. Yeah, let me keep my... This is my first stream, too, on YouTube, at least, so... Hopefully it's not too laggy. I kind of have my stream health pulled up just in case there are some issues. I'm going to turn the game down a bit, though. No, I, I like freaked out in the middle of the night last night because around like 7 p.m. I went to go check at my my stream settings and YouTube was like, oh, you have to wait 24 hours to stream. And I was like freaking out. I was like, I was planning to do this in like 12 hours. And then for whatever reason, it was like, oh, you're good. So everything turned out fine, but I did freak out a little bit last night. <laughs> Have I heard anything about when Oxbow's coming out to console? They said end of quarter two at the latest, so what is that? June? At the latest. I know Oxbow. I don't know why, I don't know what it takes them like the extra time, but I assume the porting from like console is a little bit more challenging, but I wish I wish they put them both out at the same time. But 
but now we have to go through this tutorial again. I'm not going to do like the whole big run around this, the, uh, the entire village or the entire area and just get whatever I want. That would take like an hour just to do and I don't feel like doing that again. I'll probably just do like a light version of looting. Probably controls and ports. I mean, probably maybe ports. I don't know about controls because I think you can still play the Oxbow update with like a like if I plug in an Xbox controller into my PC, I think it still works. Yeah, I literally just woke up like an hour ago, so if it takes me a while, if I seem like I'm tired, I'll probably wake up in a bit. <laughs> like I normally speed through this. I need to drink my coffee. Oh yeah, the other thing, I did turn on some custom settings. Yeah, I use I'm using fast crafting and fast building. I'm going to play with encumbrance, though. I just don't think I feel like sitting through making like hundreds of items in one day. A lot of those games with building wheels that start on PC can be a little janky to get right on console. Green Hell is still very weird to use on consoles. I was hearing a bit about Green Hell yesterday. Like, I was looking at Discord and I ran into like, I think there is another company working on a VR version of Me Medieval Dynasty. And I think they're also the same people that worked on VR Green Hell. But I haven't played Green Hell at all. So I know nothing about it. In playing Total War Empire. You're really far into your conquest and it crashed and you lost it all? I always hate when that happens. Animals, children, uh, politics, work. Set a win. I need to go talk to the Castellan. Get my permissions. And then we can finally play the game. I've read this so many times. I'm sorry. I'm going to skip through it. I feel like I've restarted Oxbow at least half a dozen times already. Not like doing like full playthroughs, but doing like workshopping things or for other video purposes. Maybe a dozen, not even half. But I haven't read through like all the dialogue options. I don't know if there are some that are special. I assume not in the early game. But now we can build, we can do whatever we want. So I'm going to start by robbing the nobles blind. You gotta rob them. Somebody like reprimanded me in my comments because my last video I basically was like showing how to make money and he was like, how dare you steal from the people that took care of you and nurtured you back up. I was just like, oh my goodness. It really takes role playing seriously in this game.
But he does have a point. It is kind of messed up, you know. I'm basically dying on the side of the road. These guys save me. And then... How do I repay them? I just go into their houses and take all this stuff. Gonna lose a little bit of dynasty reputation, but I don't care. I'll get it back. Oh, I'm encumbered. This is not good. Well, I could sell some stuff. And I could buy some bags. I'm doing this all wrong. Where is she at? Imislawa. What trade is in my nature? I'm gonna sell her like most of the items I've I've gotten. I think nine hundred is enough. Simple large backpack. Yep. I have like no money, but Oh, did I choose co op? I just realized, I was like, why do I keep hearing everything when I pause? When I pause the game. I'm gonna fix that. Ignore my, my all my all my saves, I have so many. Quick reset. If I'm not playing with other people, it's, it'd be kind of annoying hearing all the people just talking in my ear while I'm selling. But yeah, I had a, my weekend was kind of hectic. So that's kind of why I didn't have a video ready this weekend, so... We had to compromise this time. But I do have some a good amount of time today. I'll probably play for I don't know, five hours, four hours. How are you? We're going to Astoya. Oh, I don't have money. I, I need to go steal more. Can you have multiple saves saved up? I just got this game and I've been your teacher. Um I think you can have multiple instances of Medieval Dynasty running at the same time. I think you have to like go into the files and click on the launcher. I don't know if you can do it through Steam. I think it depends on which like platform you're using it on. I mean, even if I steal this stuff, I, I still don't have the money to go. What if I co-op on three screens at once? You want me to multi-box Medieval Dynasty? <laughs> that would be kind of funny, actually. I don't know how that would work. But I think it'd be funny to try. I was looking into not necessarily like cheating, but game edits like this last week. Cause there's like a mod page on, I don't remember which, what website it's called, but you can download like in quotes mods for medieval dynasty, which are basically just edited save files. And there's like a save file for like the original map that like boosts the building limits like 5,000%. And I wanted to figure out how to do it myself. So I was like looking into it and I found out how to do it. But something about the the save files have changed. Like since like they've been updated over the years or whatever. And I don't think you can do it anymore. Which kinda sucks. I was hoping there'd be like a, a weird way to kinda 
do kind of like how you could do what you can do in like lethal company where people can just edit the total amount of players playing it'd be funny if you could get like 10 20 people in one multiplayer lobby all right i need to sell Not you. We're gonna sell all of the stolen items. Although this time I might keep the tools. I might keep the axe. Nothing else though. Twenty three hundred, pretty good start. I think we can just work with this. All right, where are we at? So I haven't decided where I wanted to build yet. There are a couple places that I like, though. I'm probably going to choose one of the areas that I chose in one of my videos. So in my personal playthrough, I've been building like around here. Obviously, like, the early access, like, gameplay I did with co-op, I was over here. And I, I like being around Pia Stovia. Maybe I'll build around Skocky, actually, like, this little spot. Yeah, that sounds like fun. We're going to build, like, near the mining town. I can get, like, a good start on, like, some extraction activities. And I can stop being a menace to everybody out here. I'm going to leave them alone. Let them keep their stuff. I've gotten enough. How can I help you? For now. Hmm. Good luck. Before I go to Skaki, actually, one thing I should do is get some seeds and some fertilizer ready. Or at least seeds. I think they sell them here. Because we're going to try and get, like, a village going, like, as soon as possible. And the easiest way to do that is get a farm going. So today is... We're in the summer. Let's do flax seeds. Maybe like an 8x8 eight eight field. 8x10. Eight This is more than enough. I'm encumbered though, but luckily I kept some potions. I'm now on this potion game. These potions are the best thing. Take an encumber or a weight potion. And then at least this will keep me going until I get over to Skaki. It is kind of going to be a waste okay. of money. But I kind of want to go to Piastovia first. Because of this box of all of this tool, tools and equipment. I want to grab the bow, at least. Gotta say your building skills are epic. Nah, nah, no way. Not even, I, I wouldn't say that. It is fun, like, planning out a village, but 
there are some crazy builders in this community that put me to shame. <laughs> I don't want to take too much, because I'm going to still be encumbered. Maybe I can put some away. Yeah, this will work. I can come back for the manure. I got a little bit extra. Nah, but there's a lot of people in the community that, like, specifically focus on building villages. And, like, if you go into the the Discord and look at, like, the screenshots, like, there's some amazing, like, villages. Hello there. Now we're gonna go to Skok. He almost went to Klonitsa. And we're gonna start building. Huh. I'm going to build a couple houses first. We're going to try and get a villager or two. But we're going to test this building location. This is the one I was probably most iffy about in the video. Like, on paper, it seems like a good location. But I don't think I've seen a lot of people build over here. Another reason why I want it to be in single player mode. I wouldn't be able to use photo mode. I feel like a good idea of where I want to start. Oh, there's a abandoned house over there. I need to go check that. I, th I think I'll probably like start my house over there. But before we do that, I got to check this place. I don't think I even went to this house on my video. So this is completely new. I'm going to pull out my bow just in case there are bandits. I don't remember if there are bandits here. Oh, that's even worse than a bandit. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, chill out, bear. I have arrows. I got to equip them. All right, will 10 arrows be enough? Nope. Okay, maybe. He's on the run. I see another bear in the distance. He's going in the house. Oh, the bear lives here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Now the problem is, if I skin that bear, that bear's probably gonna see me. Some coins, some potions. Bottles. 63 coins. Lots of clay stuff. Eighty five coins. All right, not bad. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I probably did. How 
How's my weight? I just realized as soon as I skin this animal, I'm probably going to be too heavy. What do I drop? Rocks. Not bad. As long as I have the, the potion. Oh, there's more. Maybe not. Oh my goodness, kitty. Sorry, my cats are freaking out. I think I looted everything here. We can probably make it. Maybe like right here. This will be the center. And then I'll I'll change it up if I feel like it. Cause I think I want to have my farms be on this like elevated land right here. Right here. The field's gonna be, what did I say? Eight by 10? I'm gonna need a lot more space. I need to cut this tree down. We're going to leave some stuff on the ground. Too heavy for this. What's up, Watts? How you doing? We're going to leave the fertilizer on the ground. That's what's keeping us down. Get hammer going. I thought I had one. Maybe I sold it. Jesus is a disguised name as son of Zeus. I almost named my character Jesus. I mean, that was kind of what I was going for. I've never... I don't think I've heard that before, though. I really should have brought some resources with me. I'm kind of dependent on how much I can carry, though. I did bring the axe. This will probably help me out the most. If I went to get more money, I probably could have gotten an iron axe, though. And later I might go get a... That iron crossbow. 
But I kind of want to get myself established first before I do that. Yeah, I can't keep carrying all this stuff on me. The meat, the fur, the copper. That's pretty much everything that's holding me down. Because I need logs, I need some sticks. Is there straw around here? Pretty sure there is. And I'm going to leave the stumps too because I might want the, the trees to grow back. I don't know. Actually, in my last village, one of the really thing, uh, one of the things I really like was I built like a woodshed area, like a logging area, and I put it specifically around a lot of trees because I would just go over there and just cut a bunch of trees. And it's really nice because you can just cut all the trees down that area, uh, cut them into planks or firewood or whatever, and then a couple years go by and then you can just do it again. A well. I will need a well. And I think I want to clear this like little space right here. It would be more efficient at getting logs if I w went specifically for like maple trees, but this area I might actually dig up the stumps. So I think this is like little corner could be like a really cool like market. Probably enough logs, but I still don't have the straw. You know what I'll do? I'm going to get sticks. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to build a campfire and I'm just going to sleep. Now we can build the campfire. Let's we'll put it like right here. Second day. Let's go find that straw. I know it's somewhere around here. Or maybe that was the problem with this area. If so, we can work with it. We'll work with it. Love the thumbnail. Thanks. I saw that picture and I, I just love using that picture. Oh, no, we got we got reeds right here. No, no, those are not reeds. No. They almost look like reeds, but they're not.
There we go. We got some reeds. This isn't a lot, though. Yeah, that's like not nearly enough straw. I mean, it's probably enough for a house. How come I can't get this one? Come on. Come on. There we go. It's enough for one house, but I'll need a couple. Oh, there's even more in town. Oh, we're, we have plenty of straw. Look at all this. All right, we don't have anything to worry about. I just want to get like a hundred straw. What do I have in town? We gotta cook. Why don't you have a wife? I feel like there's somebody else here that I need to talk to. Huh. Ethics important for games in life? I don't want to get into this debate. <laughs> huh. You're entitled to your opinion, man. I feel like there are worse offenders if you're talking about ethics for games like, I don't know, like GTA or like Doom. I mean, I guess Doom's more fantasy, but still. We're just here to chill out, play some video games. Even, it's, even if it's at the cost of Nazi boar over here. How are you? How's life, bro? Could be better, especially without ever complaining about the paranoid neighbors. Ignore them and avoid eye contact. Maybe it's a you problem. You didn't say anything. Take care. No response. Thank you. I probably wouldn't respond either. Anyways, I have enough straw. I don't really want to buy any food in Skaki. And I don't need to mine. Maybe I can flirt, though. And check out the stats of our villagers. Three farming, three farming. Survival production. Diplomacy. No extraction or hunters. Oh, it's you again. Unfortunate, but I'm sure we'll find one. What's your favorite food? Nice weather. Oh. You know, I'm something of a village. Really? Myself. See you around. Really? I can't say a bad word about our I need to go test something really quick. I'm going to Piestovia. It's going to cost me money, though. We're checking for villagers. I didn't think I failed a dialogue. Maybe I just didn't notice that they changed it.
All right, who do we got here? And, uh, some Three guys. And well, over my head, of course. that's not going to work. Am I, too demanding? I guess I'm going to have to test it later. But since I'm in Piestovia, maybe there's some stuff I could buy. I dropped all that st Oh, and you know what? Actually, I'll just pick up everything that's in that chest. That's what I need. We're going to take all of this back with us to Skaki. Or at least some of it. The tools. Maybe the bucket, too. I'm gonna leave the rest. Alright, back to Skaki. How do you do? I didn't mean to pull my axe on you, man. Hey, what's up, man? Great content. Hey, thanks, Angel. How's it going, dude? Why is this one lady just, like, facing away from everybody? She must be an introvert. Relatable. Relatable lady. But yeah, I got the straw. We're going to build the house. We're going to build a second house. And I need to find somebody who can work in a wood cutting lodge. Because I need to... I need somebody to offset some of the load. You love this game? Me too. I still haven't completed the story for this map. I've been kind of lacking. But everything else I've really been liking about this uh this new update. So I'm just missing logs. I just need a couple logs. I bet there's closer straw somewhere. I'm just missing it. But I mean, straw on Skaki is not that bad. Okay, I want to cut down all of these trees, clear out this triangular area. And I think I'm going to build it into like a communal villager area, maybe a, a market. I feel like that would look cool. Just gonna take some time. start a YouTube channel but never get time to work on it I get that it, 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 it takes up a lot of time surprisingly I would love to get more out than I do but I've been just trying to push out something a week for at least the last couple months and even that's been a fair amount of work Now that we have our house, we are going to build the farm. Actually, where's that? Where's that shovel?
I think we said I think I said it was gonna do like an eight by ten. Oh did I I lined it. Hold on. Why does that look weird? Maybe it's not completely aligned. Oh well. Are you working as well or is YouTube enough? Nah man. I, I work too. This is more like a fun side thing that I do. Eight by ten. Let's do it this way. I do get a bit of money on the side though from doing it now. I didn't for like the first couple months. But it was kind of on a whim that I decided to commit as hard as I did. I'd say it was worth it. And I feel like I've learned like so much about this game that I don't think I would have ever learned about if I didn't start doing a YouTube channel. Who knows, maybe you could do this full time someday. I mean, maybe. I think I'd need to put a lot more time or... I don't think I could do it just specifically doing Medieval Dynasty stuff, you know? Unless the game, like, randomly popped off. But I'm pretty cool with how it's going right now. I'm happy to help out, you know, especially like newer players or show up people things that they may not know about the game because there are surprisingly a lot of like weird intricacies to this game. Have four subs, uh, four subs, any tips on growing? Um, I guess like find an idea and try and be consistent with it, I guess. Try and find something that you feel like you would watch, I guess. Or something that you feel like is quality. Like for example, I think my first Medieval Dynasty tutorial video was the, the donkey video. And I think I kind of just played most of the game, completed the entire story without even unlocking like half of the animals, half the buildings. Because I didn't feel like I was being, I guess, properly explained to. And there is like this knowledge tab. If you go over here, uh, if you press tab and you go to this last tab, it will tell you like a lot of the things in the game that you may not know about with like management, but. I'm more of a visual learner. So videos work better for me. Huh. But I figured if it took me that long to like figure out how to use a donkey, I figured that there might be other people that may not know certain things about the game that want to learn about it. I don't know if I made too big of a field. This bag certainly isn't going to survive the entire field. I never know. It may take a couple ideas. This wasn't like my... Uh oh, where's my fertilizer? Oh, I left it on the ground. This isn't like my very first channel that I started. A 
couple years ago, I, I think maybe like during like the pandemic, I kind of got like interested in the idea of streaming. So I started doing it for a while. And then this channel kind of evolved into this. So I guess it's still the same channel. It was just like a different approach, if that makes sense. Like, I'm pretty sure I still have like a really old clip of me playing like Darkest Dungeon from a couple years ago on a stream. And that was just kind of when I was just messing around. For Oxbows, are there Heralds? I believe there are Heralds. I don't know if I have one up right now. Yeah, I don't have one up right now, but I'm pretty sure there are Heralds. Heralds sometimes take a while to show up. I've had times where Heralds don't show up for a couple years, and it actually, like, really sucks. But then I've had times where a Herald will show up every other season. It's really random. Speaking of, maybe I should check. What's my king? The Lazy? So that's a neutral king. So I can kind of do whatever. I think lazy was neutral. I got to double check on that. I don't think that's bad. That just basically means if I do like the challenges, I won't lose any reputation for my villagers. Because if he was a bad king and then I try to do the like his challenge, then it would just drop all of my villagers mood. And that would kind of suck. I had made that mistake, I think, the first time I played. I was just doing King's Challenges willy-nilly, not realizing I had a bad King. And then, all of a sudden, I looked and I had, like, a, a base negative 15% mood on all of my villagers. I broke my bag. Have I played Conan Exiles or Grounded? I haven't played Grounded. I have played Conan Exiles. In fact, I kind of want to do videos on Conan Exiles. That was one of the games I was considering playing in the future. I haven't played much of Conan Exiles since the newest, I think it was Age of War that came out. But I was really big into it in the previous age, I forgot what it was called. I was, I was playing a lot during like Isle of Sipta. I've played a fair amount of Conan Exiles, so I feel like that would be a game I could feel more confident talking about. I need to get rid of all this stuff. Anything you two all watch? Thanks, man. You're awesome. Now, Conan Exiles, I think, would be a lot of fun. But I need to go find some animals. I need some leather. Or I could go buy some. Nah. I'll just find something. Preferably like a pig. I don't know how long it's been since I've saved, so I'll do that. Especially if I'm going out in the wilderness. <laughs> Oh yeah, though, uh, yeah, Conan, Conan Exiles is really fun. I used to, like, download so many mods for that game, too. I used to jump server to server. I don't think I ever got a, got out of, uh oh bears. And wizards. Can I fight? Do I have arrows for wizards? I have one arrow. Maybe I'm not entirely prepared for hunting.
and there's bears all around me. This place is way more dangerous than I expected. Grounded is addictive, tough on max difficulty. I used to look at Grounded and wanted to play it because I, I mean, I've, I'm pretty into a lot of the survival crafting games, but that's just one I never really picked up. That one, uh, Green Hell, they were, we were talking about earlier was another one I never really got into or I never tried. But they all sound interesting. All right, where's that boar? Oh, well, there he is. We can do this. With one arrow and a dream. Wait, I oh, I guess they were just broken arrows. I got more. All right, I guess that was it. I'd be down to try grounded sometime though. Oh, he got axed, all right. Perfect though. I got my leather. I can finish my fields. Maybe I was a little ambitious with this field. It'll work. It's just going to take some time. I think in addition to a a person for a woodshed, I'm going to want a farmer as well. All right, let's make these bags. I'm going to make them all into bags because... I'm probably going to need them. I talked about it a little bit earlier too. I'm the only uh, game settings that I changed were fast crafting and fast building. So I'm still running with encumbrance. All of my XP rates are the same. We're just going to see how far we can go for this stream. I think even with fast crafting and fast building, we can get pretty far. I've just kind of wasted most of my spring trying to get this field going but it's gonna be worth it yeah i was looking i was perusing discord yesterday and i found I heard about it a little bit, but I didn't look much into it because I saw like one video, but there's some developers working on a VR version of Medieval Dynasty. And I was waiting to see some videos and I couldn't really find any videos about them. And then I found like a bunch of shorts on like, I think the dev channel. And that game actually looks pretty interesting. It is VR, so it'll be a bit different, but it seems like, for the most part, they're trying to keep the game very similar in terms of mechanics. Do you, still get, do you still get all the points with fast crafting? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you still get all the points for fast crafting. And even if you didn't, it would probably still be faster. Like, for example, I'm pretty sure, uh, what was it? I think I made, when I was doing, like, a test video for, like, building, like, leveling up my production and stuff, I made, like, 3,000 flatbread at once, and it got me, like, hundreds of, like, tech points or XP at a time. So, it should still, like be faster even if it's a little bit less
if Jesus was a farmer. Oh my god, my hoes. If anything, this will level my farming up, like, substantially. Apparently, sitting stumps are great for leveling. Yeah, I was going to talk about that in my next video. Not, well, I was going to mention it. But sitting stumps just give you, like, one building point per. And it's just one log. And then if you take the... What skill was it? Where are we at? Extraction. Master Destruction. You can just get half your logs back and then just throw them all back on the ground. So you're getting a point and a half per log if you have Master Destruction. But you, it'll, you do have to take the time to put them all down and then break them all down. So it's still a bit of monotonous. Kind of like how you can level a farm really fast by just hoeing it and putting seeds down. But it is a good alternative. Especially if you want to get like a, a mine really quick. I'm just going to put down like a row of flag seeds. And then I'm going to go to bed. Oh no, city, sitting stumps are really, really good. There was another alternative too. I think if you also... Oh, we got the hen house? This is what I'm talking about. We're getting really good farming points. Where am I from? I'm from California. Like, middle of nowhere, California. Not like Los Angeles. Rural California. And weirdly enough, that's probably why I'm into this farm game. I don't know. I grew up... I grew up on an almond orchard for like a decade. Like most of my childhood. You're in LA? Small world. Our laws and taxes suck. Yeah, I agree, bro. South Africa. Whoa. Dang, man. Had no idea I had viewers from South Africa. That's cool. I said I was going to do one lane, and then I did half the lane. I did half the farm. I'm going to bed. It's too dark. I have one more day left, so I will have the field ready in time. And then maybe I can get a villager or two set up before we get to the next season. Because I don't want to have to do this farm. I'll, like, do this again uh, next season. Have somebody else do this for me. Yeah, maybe if I did this again, I'd do like... I should have done the 8x8. Eight eight. I could eat a horse. Eat a horse? Do I got food? Cooked food? Oat rolls? Sorry, one second.
Here we go. In South Africa, load shedding sucks. What's load shedding? We did it. The entire field. How many farming points did we get from all of this? 60. We can build the barn and the farming shed. And we got pigs or sorry, we have hens. We're halfway to pigs. I think what I'm going to do, pull out my hammer, get this properly aligned. And then I think I'll build the farm shed. Or at least start it. Put it right here. And then we'll get a second house. They cut your electricity up to 10 hours a day, no power. What? Oh my gosh. Now that sucks. They threaten to do that to us in California all the time because like it gets hot out here and the power grid sucks. But I don't think they've they don't you they don't ever really do it. Or should I build the second house? Build the road this way. I don't want I, I could keep building farms this way though, or over here. So maybe we'll build the village somewhere else. Actually, let's just we'll give like a nice little Nah, let's not do that. I was going to say we could put him on the beach. They're threatening income back at braced utility billing scene. What? Huh. I don't want to build over here. And this area is kind of uneven for a house. We'll just go down this way. They'll live slightly further away from me. Until I decide how I want to put my farms. There we go. This will work. Aside that, though, South Africa is a great place to live. Well, that's good, at least. Huh. I don't know too much about South Africa. I, I have a, uh, a couple online friends I've played with that live there, but I don't think I've really talked to them too much about it. Is there a quick way to build farmer tech for an NPC? Let me think about that. I feel like maybe the barn or the mill might be the fastest way. I'm not entirely sure the quickest way. I think like making fertilizers or flour might be one of the faster ways. Yeah, the mill takes a while to unlock. But I think once you get a mill and you throw somebody in there, I think 
that's a quick way to level them. It does take a while. What I'll often do is I'll get like really bad villagers that don't have like great stats and make them like the like the people that work on the farms, the farm hands, and then get like level threes, three pluses, and have them work at like barns and uh, animal breeders and stuff like that. And then over time, those like people work in the fields will actually level up pretty quickly as well. So if you have bigger fields, that's another way your villagers will level up. But there's only so much of a load they can really do. So until you get like the barn or the, the mill, have like a couple of people just being farmers and have like a big farm going. Do I still play the valley? I haven't in the last couple months, but... In my opinion, I think I still like the valley map better. For different reasons. Like for the single player experience, I think the valley is better. Like overall. The map's bigger. I, don't, I still don't know too much about the story, so I could be wrong. There are more interesting things on the map in the Oxbow, though. Like the abandoned uh, houses. And, like, you sometimes find, like, places of interest. I didn't drop, like, a, an axe over here. I just have these copper ones. I was hoping I had another bronze one. Yeah, there's a lot more better decorations on the Oxbow. But you can still, like, in, when, when you talked about, like, the ones that you can, like, build, like, the decorations you can build, you can still build, like, the same decoration. So, you do have that. And there's another weird thing. Where is it? Right here. Weirdly enough, there's, like, additional emotes on the valley that you can't use on the Oxbow. And it doesn't really make much sense to me. I'm wondering if, like, the devs are planning to have, like, ways to, uh, like, interaction with the emotes. If they have, like, extra ones on the single player or if it, that's just, like, a, I don't know their reason. So I know you have, like, rock, paper, scissors, right? That might be one of the special ones. Yeah. You can do, like, rock, paper, scissors on the valley. Which is weird, because I feel like that would be the one you'd want to do... ...with multiplayer? I don't know. Yeah. Kind of weird. Don't want to die to any falling trees. Always lacking on logs. I can't wait till I get a woodcutter. I have to cut so many trees down. Where's my axe at? There we go. Get 
give my stamina back. I would donate if I could, but I'm not able to. No worries, man. You don't have, you don't have to donate. I appreciate the thought, though, you know. Realistically, I should have... If I wasn't so busy at work this week, I would have had a video ready. And I just felt bad that I couldn't get a video out in time, so... I'm still happy I was, I'm able to stream. But I was kind of bummed out that I couldn't get my video done in time. What's up, man? Just passing by. Don't know if you'll be able to watch it all. Love your content. Cheers from Brazil. Awesome. Thanks for stopping by. Always happy when com uh, some people come in and just say hi. That's always cool. Especially if, like, I see them comment. It's always uh, interesting seeing, like, a, uh, a familiar name and, and, like, icon, you know? No way Jay Walker stream. How's it going, Disaster Strikes? How's work? I'm sure you'd love to be playing with me right now. If any of you guys have seen, like, my first look Oxbow videos, Disaster Strikes played in, uh, I think the first two gameplay videos I put out. Work is mid. Yo, been watching all your videos now. Just finally start OG Medieval Dynasty. Love from Texas. How's it going, Austin? Thanks for stopping by, saying hi. Ryzen Newbie says, love your content, man. Learned so much from your videos. Hate trying to manage villager mood early. It's a pain in my ass. I agree. Um, a way you can, a way you can like get around that is if you want to take the time to like build a little bit bigger, like, like stone and plank buildings, you can give them a little bit more mood in the early game. And then maybe... I want to see if I can do this actually right now. I don't know how much reputation you need. Where's my hammer? Oh, it's a thousand technology. Once you get a thousand technology, just start hanging these straw Himalays like all over like the rooftops or the attic. That will also increase their reputation or their, their mood pretty substantially. Was so fun. We got to play more. Yeah, we totally got to play more. In fact, I have an idea that I want to talk to you about later. That will involve you playing more. Woodshed. Yes. Thank God. All right. After this last log, I'm finding a villager that can cut trees for me. Living the dream trying to figure this shiz out. I feel that one, man. I've been your favorite content creator. <laughs> Thanks, man. I love tedious shit like this. Thanks to you. I switched to 10-day season and feel like I can breathe. 
yeah, there's a lot you can do to make the game better with the custom game settings. And I really like how, especially like the longer seasons, I think I only have three right now, but you can make it so after the third day, you can just swap to the next season. It's really cool. Especially in the early time, I feel like when I first started playing this game, I had to have restarted maybe four or five times. Always feeling like I could have done something a little bit better or I wanted to tweak something. Okay, I picked up way too much. We're going to put some stuff away. Now that we have the field set up and I need to get people, maybe I'll sell a little bit and then I'll go find that villager. So I'm going to go cook this meat, sell most of it, probably keep some for the villagers. And then build their workstations. We got the workshop. I got some points to send or to a spend. Let's do force of nature for extraction. Probably careful farmer because my hose always are breaking. Survival and sensitive and crafting. Oh, I should have I should have spent this before I Oh well. Cooking knowledge. We'll get more XP for cooking. TBH still pretty lost, but I've got 13 buildings and six villagers. It takes a bit of time. Like, I think I had a hundred hours into the game and I still didn't unlock my first mount. Like it took me a while to get acclimated to a lot. And I could have gotten it so much earlier if I tried, but I didn't really know. And now that we got these. Maybe I'll get one more building started before we invite people in. Extraction, woodshed. I don't want this to be too far away. I feel like I'm not gonna... I'm going to move a lot of stuff in the future. I'm just going to do this for convenience sake, though. I'll probably want the workshop nearby. I'll put the woodshed like right here. If it fits. There we go. Is Oxbow only on Steam? As of now, it is. The... Developers announced that I think Oxbow is coming out quarter one, quarter two. So at the latest, June. So yeah, consoles. I don't know if Epic Games has it yet. But as far as I know, consoles and everybody else will get the Oxbow update and co-op before June. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be... I don't know. April, May. Because they did kind of wait to the end for the Oxbow update for PC, so they might wait till the end for console as well. So yeah, it sucks. Console players stay suffering. Yeah. Uh oh, why am I poisoned? What did I eat? On PC, just using Xbox Live. Oh, so it really is just Steam, like it's Steam specific. Poor 
poisoned cabbage ended your life. Yep, I remember that. Thanks for your guides, really help. Thanks, DBR. I appreciate that. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I keep saying I need to cut this area down, and then I cut everywhere but this area. In fact, I got logs right here already. What am I doing? I'll get you a drink in a second. Hold up. We're almost there. Two more hits. There we go. Okay, we're set. We got a house. We got two houses. Farm shed. Wood shed. We're going to move two people. Two lucky uh, people are going to become a couple, and they're going to work in these two buildings for the time being. I'm dying of thirst. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got you, man. What's our What's my thoughts on the new Wild West Dynasty game? I'm hesitant. <laughs> I mean, it's been out for a while, right? But I think they're going to put put out the, like, they're taking it out of early access. And I've always looked at it, but the negative reviews have kind of put me off. But I think I'm going to try it once the 1.0 release comes out. They have a lot of games coming out right now. Uh, they have Wild West Dynasty, Vampire Dynasty. That's the one I'm most interested in. Sengoku Dynasty is getting a lot of updates still. So that one's looking good. Alright, let's go get some guys. I love how the characters talk now. Dude, you don't know. I, there are so many times I've died because I wasn't paying attention to the, like the, the health or water bar. And I just died because I starved to death. And I didn't notice like the old sound for when you were dying of thirst or food i'm so happy they talk now it's almost like the sims where they just like start screaming at you it's like please i need food huh. how to automate getting stone uh, excavation shed and then the mine in the late game i think right I, I think you can get stone in the mine. But yeah, I'd... Yeah, like Angel said, excavation shed. Huh. Alright, I need one farmer. Weird that only women bleed once a month while no animals do. We got a three. We got a... I'm an experienced traveler. Two guys. A shy one. I only travel when nobody's watching. I can't pronounce his name. Drogo, Dro, Drogod, Roselaw. Welcome you? to the village. Roslaw. Back, what'd you miss? Uh, I got the initial village established. I got a couple houses. I just invited our first villager. He's going to be our, uh, our farmer. Roslaw. And then before I go. It's the end of the season. So I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to do before anything resets. I'm 
I'm just going to drink this potion. I don't want to be running around encumbered. I'm going to go sell the rest of the roasted meat that I have. Get a little bit of money. I'm going to keep the bucket. I'm going to sell, like, most of the meat, but keep a little bit. Because this guy's going to need some food. Yeah, I think that'll be. That'll, that'll do. That'll do. He was upset. All right, let's just put this guy in his house. And I wonder if I can find... I'm going to, like, teleport to another village and see if I can find a villager. Because there were no ladies at Piestovia. How can I help you? So let's try Klonitsa. As long as he doesn't poke his nose into my business, I don't poke my nose into his. They don't have I think next season I'm going to start doing some quests. I'm going to need some more dynasty reputation if I want to expand. So I think I can only... Yeah, what? Five villagers? Oh, we got a couple ladies here. Are all very well, but I would love to Any miners? Yes! Ludomira. Like Sorry. Where are all the good men gone? Oh, I still. Oh. I can't say a bad word about anything. Yep. I don't have enough reputation for two people. Huh. I didn't think I needed. I didn't think I'd be limited to one. I'm 20 rep away. What? I'm looking for a truffle pig. That's not fair. Please let me do the quest. Something. How do I just gain 20 reputation? Easy. I don't think I do. Actually. How far is that? 900 meters do i really want to i don't think i'd make it four hours eh, let's try let's try because if not i have to spend the money to go back and i'd rather not yeah the piestovia board i should have done that earlier i should have checked my reputation But I have another idea. I might die though. I don't know. I used all my arrows, didn't I? Yeah. I got healing potions. I got a, I got three healing potions. We got this, we got this. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did not see those. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. I don't want to play. I would kill them if I had the, uh, the bag space to carry the leftovers. But I do not. I'm kind of on the edge of time, so I don't know if I'm going to make this. I 
hope I do. But basically, there's some bandits over here that I could kill. That would give me a reputation. Alright, pigs, please. I'm running into everything. But yeah, there's some bandits over here that I might be able to kill. And they'll give me a reputation. I won't be able to make it back in time. But at least I'll have the reputation ready. These pigs don't want me to do that, though. Hey, yo. Hey. It swims. It's faster than me. Okay. Fine. It didn't have to be like this, pig. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Yeah, that pig really wanted to fight. Is the other one coming to? Oh, these oh, there's bandits over here. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Hold on. I need to think about this. Is this my best weapon? 35 damage. All right, it'll have to do. They only have their fists and knives, so they should be easy. Up the pig. Why are you helping them? And, and why did that guy die standing up? Oh my god, another pig. Is there no end? Uh, there was an end. My game just crashed. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not what I meant by end. Okay. If that's how it's gotta be, where where did it leave me off? I haven't I haven't quick saved in who knows how long. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did it put me here? Into the thick of it. I mean, it's so nice of them to put me where I left off. He's still standing up. Random reference, but have any of you guys seen Vinland Saga? It's an anime. 
He's like Thor's out here. He died standing up. Please. Oh my god. It's okay, I'll... I'll loop him. This is the hardest fight I've ever experienced. What time is it? I don't even think I'm gonna have enough time to loot these guys because I'm, I'm just getting mauled. Well, Damn it. Oh my gosh. Paying the King's tax. Disaster strikes Austin Johnson. Thank you. I'm going to need that to uh, pay off my, my medical bills from being robbed. Well, that's sad. But I was literally getting swarmed. I will not evade taxes this season. This season. I understand. I'll let you off this time. Thanks so much, guys, for, uh, for donating, by the way. Not much, but it's honest work. I appreciate it still, Austin. Love y'all stream again, so gotta go. See you later, man. You have a good one. It's too bad I died. But we must move on. We're gonna give... our uh, farmer some fertilizer, some bags. We're gonna get them all set up. Because we have some stuff to do. Do I still have a hoe? A couple hoes? Four. I'll give them all the bags. And he needs stuff to survive. He still needs food. Here's our villager, Rose Law. He's ready for work. But I don't know why he's not. Some water, boss. Okay, okay. All right. Bro, chill. That's rude. I have your water right here. I don't have any firewood, though. Here, have 10 sticks. Back to work, gonna be listening. Unable to speak. Good luck. Thank you so much. Good luck to work as well. Disaster strikes. Hope this is a good day. Hopefully the uh, the people watching the Super Bowl don't uh, attack you in mass. What am I missing? We cook this meat, sell it. 
I should probably go mining. I also need a resource storage. Can I build a resource storage yet? I can build a barn. I can build the resource storage off the bat. I got the food storage. We're going to find a place. Actually, let's put this like right across. Yes. I don't have to work. I can just, it can just be like right next to my house. I like your name. Everyone calls you, sir. You know, that wasn't planned. <laughs> but, you know, I guess it just works out like that. Some people call me sir, some people call me Jay. I'm cool with either, you know. Some people call me Jay Walker. Yeah, I kind of wasted some money going to Skaki. I never actually got that person. You know what we're gonna do today? Let's let's take a a, a step back from building. Let's go get our reputation so we can invite that person. Can we call you Walker, Texas Ranger? Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> that was, that was, unironically, that was one of my nicknames in high school. But that was kind of my fault because I used to wear like Chuck Norris shirts. I was that guy. Okay, I came here. I was gonna go to Piestovia, but maybe this, maybe this is an easy quest. Oh, it's you again. Copies my haircut, but when I pointed that out, he cut his hair short. He tried to flirt with my apprentice because he was would always like to cook for a wife. And I heard him saying that if he had a son, he would call him Bogdan. And what's my daughter's name, Bogdana? <laughs> All right. The other night we decided to redecorate our house. We really wanted it to stand out, so we put our heart and soul into it. Guess what? Recently, I had to visit his moron. You know what he saw? He copied everything. Well. I guess we'll go talk to this man. Neighbors. Where is your neighbor? 300 dynasty rep. Say less. I don't know. He can make onions cry. I know. He's he's intimidating. He can do anything. You don't think Chuck, Chuck Norris can play Frisbee well? What are you talking about? Is there anything I can help you with? Wait, this is Nazibor. This is the guy that I tried to talk to. He's complaining again, is he? It's not my fault that we have very similar tastes, and I don't copy him. He's just flattering himself. Of course, his eyes are simply as original and unique as they think you are. So no wonder other people will come up with very similar ones. And our houses are not the same. You can check for yourself and tell Wajcik, Wajcik, what's different. All right, I'm going to look at their houses. All right, you got a bear pelt. You got the chicken. You got the ox thing. You got the... Sh all right, I'm going to your house. Would Chuck Norris have killed the bandits and pigs? Yeah, and he probably would have done it with his fists. Oh. 
badger instead of a bear. Chicken. Moose. This is awfully, awfully similar. Five differences. The beaver. Oh, wait, is, I actually have to, like, sort this out. Hold on. I didn't realize this is one of these quests. Great stream man, gotta go. Thanks for stopping by, Angel. It's good talking to you. Appreciate you coming by and chatting. Hope to see you again sometime. All right, we got the bear. We got a squirrel. Bear. Squirrel. The skull's different. Bear, squirrel, skull's different. Are these two things different? Because that's the same. All right, I remember that. What? So the beaver, the skull, the flower, the dove. What's the fifth thing? I need to look one more time. See you next time, dude. Those are the exact same. What is it? Am I tripping? I see four differences. Let me double check. Maybe it's like very similar. Is this slightly different? You know, I'm just going to talk to him. Where is he? Who's over here? For 300 dynasty reputation. All right. You got a deer skull. He's got a moose skull. What's the difference? Oh my gosh, I'm not going to remember this. He's got dandelions. You got daisies. He's got a bear. Oh, the rugs on the floor. I didn't look at the rugs on the floor. And the candles. Okay, hold on. Okay, he's got a bear. He's got a bear on the floor. All right, I got this. This one's easy. No, you both you both have bears. He's got the deer. You can have bear rugs. Yeah, you can have bear rugs. You can have bear rugs. You can 
weirdly enough, you can't have like a bear skull, but you can get like all the other animal skulls. I think the candle is slightly higher in his house as well. All right. He's got a deer skull. You got a moose skull. He's got dandelions. You got daisies. The rugs on the floor are the same. Your candle is higher than his. He's got a badger. He had the badger, I think. He's got a dove relief over the door. Oh, I don't remember this one. Four? Uh, oh my gosh. I'm not going to remember this. So much for 300 dynasty reputation. Um... Uh, Damn it. This is tougher than I expected. Not the easiest 300 dynasty reputation that I thought it was going to be. Let me spend this skill point. Survival sense. Hell yeah. How much money I got? One thousand. Take, care. How is take me to Piestovia. Write it down. I would, but that I would take a lot of time, and I don't want to sit here doing nothing, working on the same thing forever. Huh. Let's check the notice board. See one bucket for eighty dynasty rep. Easy. Twenty-one sticks. I already have this. I can do both of these. I don't have a bucket, but I could probably buy one. Or steal a bucket? Think anybody around here has a bucket? Bucket! All right. Hello, the good luck. How do you do? Have a good See, day. See, easy rep. Now we can invite somebody. Though it's a new season, so the person might be different now. Oh, do you said endangered species? The wizard is extinct. One of the animals in this game. I mean, it's just a relative of the bison, like in America, right? But I think it's the n North European bison in this game, the wizards. We got one lady extractor, and she's got a two. Not what I want. If I got to spend money to travel, I will. I got 900 coins. And I need to get back to my village and fix this uh, guy up. I don't think he's working. Actually, what is he missing? 
What are you missing, my guy? No wood, no sickle or all. Oh, you need a sickle for the flax. I am going to. Oh, that's expensive. I really need to start making tools. But I'm going to buy a sickle. And I'll come back to this quest. That's going to take me a second. Take me to Klonitsa. Yes. And then hopefully that lady didn't leave. I would like to add her to the village. Maybe I can get payback on those bandits. The bandits would have been easier to take care of too. If we didn't have to deal with... Oh, there are people here. If we didn't have to deal with the, the pigs as well. I have a feeling we are not Aw, oh, she left. I'm not superstitious. No. But I'm a little stitious. Oh, it's you again. Alright, well, Oswald. Uh, we're just going to have to work with it. Put her in the woodshed. Have her live with Rosla. They have like nine, a nine year difference. So I won't have to worry about her getting pregnant for a while. I can probably like move her to a new house and back before they randomly pair up. All right, where are we at? Maybe when I have better weapons, I'll go back to the bandits. Or at least some arrows. There's somebody over there. All right, back to the village. Oh, it's you again. I'm done spending money. And I can show off the village because I've been kind of running around for a while now. It's not much. It's just a, a couple buildings. Here we are. Here's the woodshed. I'll throw an axe in here. And then just start getting me logs. Oh. Hold up. There we go. I think we're gonna go all logs. How much would 10% sticks be? Maybe we'll do 80-20. 80-20 split. That should give me enough time to work on the resource storage. I can give this guy the sickle so we can start working. And now we can work on the resource storage. Actually, let's do a couple things. 
Why aren't you working? I just want to make sure these things go away. Okay, he's good. Now we just need to get them firewood. I need to go cut trees down somewhere else. Is there an end game to this or just infinite massive villages? Um, it's kind of like a... Hmm, how do you explain it? It's definitely a big part of the game loop. But as you play more and unlock more things, you... Uh, are uh, added to more new features or you're introduced to more new features so for example right now we only have a couple houses a farm going but if we want to get more animals like the pigs or the donkey geese sheep cows bees you have to do a lot of farming activities so it's like the more you work on certain activities the more you'll unlock new activities which you can then work on to keep expanding further and further and over time like for example you have like workshop one workshop two workshop three things are made faster in higher level workshops or for example like a storage facility we have resource storage one two three the higher level the storage facility the more space it holds so every building has like maybe not every building but some buildings have upgrades so Woodshed 1 has Woodshed 2. These two don't have upgrades. Fishing Hut 1, Fishing Hut 2, Herbalist Hut 1, 2, Hunting Lodge 1, 2. And I do need to get a lot of those buildings going eventually. But since we need to basically build a lot to get all these places going, I wanted to get somebody to work in the Woodshed. So somebody else would also be generating logs and sticks for me while I'm working on everything else. And then this guy is kind of just getting my farm established. Where is he going? He's done. Oh. Wait, what time is it? Yeah. Six o'clock. I think he just stopped working. But it's definitely like a a slow but long long burn game i would say because or slow burn i guess my bad this is a slow burn game because for example right now my character is 18. it takes i think each day in game is about 24 minutes there's three days per season default so 12 days a season that's like four hours of game time per year And for example, my longest game is around like year 20. So in my longest game, my character's gotten married. He has a kid and my kid turned 18. And then now I'm playing as the kid. So the character I initially started playing as is now an NPC. And now I'm playing as the son. And so more and more you play you go generation by generation, essentially. But you can definitely, like, especially if you play like I play, you can definitely basically do everything you need to do in the game. In... I think I basically did everything I needed to do in the game by before year 10. And so then, like, after year 10, I was spending a lot of the time just, like, building, managing, getting my village set up. More, like, creative stuff. I was working on trying to make a million coins, which I eventually did. Huh. Yeah, so... If you notice, like, I invited two villagers to our village. We have Oswalda and Ro Roselaw. I can go to Rose or Oswalda right now, and I can start flirting with her. And 
if I increase our affection enough, we can get married and then we can have a kid and then the kid will grow year by year. And then I think the kid can start working around the age of 14 as an apprentice. And then at the age of 18, you can decide to play as them if you want to. Where is Oswalda? She hasn't even made it to the village yet. Where? Oh, she's right here. She is walking. She's going to be walking all night. Okay. But yeah, you can play by generation. You can... Uh, all the buildings will stay. Even your character will stay. So like now I'm playing as the son in like my main playthrough and his parents live in a house. And then I can get that guy married and get have him have kids. Play as them and then I have I'd be the grandchild, and so on and so forth. But I definitely think there's like a limit to the game uh, the gameplay loop, especially if you're not into the creative aspect at the end. Like if you like to make villages or manage things. Because this is a big management game at the end. You're going to have so much resources that you don't really know what to do with it. And at that point, I think the more interesting uh, way to play is kind of focus on, like, self-sustainment. Because I think that's one of the more challenging things to do with the village. Because you're always going to be, if you'll notice... In the top left corner, like, you'll have these icons popping up, like, Oh, I'm out of firewood, or I'm out of food, or water, or whatever. And if you can just get your villagers, like, making sure their own needs are, like, kept instead of you having to do it. I mean, then you've basically just beaten the game. There's also ways to like up the difficulty as well. Like if you go to the custom settings, you can make it so, for example, I can increase the building limit to double, which I'll probably do eventually. So I'll just do that right now. And then taxes, if you want taxes to be more expensive, you can increase those. You can make it so that there are more days per year. You can make it so that, or per season, villagers can take more food if you want. You can make the bandits and the animals more challenging or weaker. There's a lot of customization. I think one thing I would really like for this game to have, like, co-op, I think is really cool. I think... They should expand on it a bit more in the future. Not for them to like rush or anything. It's not like I'm saying this needs to be added now, but this is the co-op map for the game. And it's also smaller than the single player map, which is kind of weird to me. I kind of hope that maybe they plan to make this map a bit bigger in the future. There's definitely space for it if they want to. I think the map like cuts off like around here. So there's a lot more area that could have like, especially if you could build further south. I don't remember where it cuts off over here. All right, what are we missing? Logs. I think we're going to need straw. Yep. Straw and logs. I think we did... Those were all the sticks? Yeah. Straw and logs. 
We'll do that tomorrow. The reason I want to sleep through the night is because... I mean, obviously... The villagers go to sleep at night. So if I sleep... If I'm working in the middle of the night, they're not generating resources. So I'd rather be working at the time they're helping me. I'm back. My wife says I can play 45 minutes. <laughs> awesome. Welcome back, man. What have we done? Not much is... We're working on the resource storage right now. Our, far our farmer is kind of working on the farm. He's a little slow. I might have to help him with that before the end of the season. And... I think Oswalda just got here. Wherever she's at. There she is. We got a lumberjack. And we got a farmer. That's the other thing, uh, Michael. If this game is co op, if you ever wanted to try it out, we could always, uh, I can always pull you into like one of my games. That's the one nice thing about the Oxbow, too. You can always like turn on and off, like toggle the co op and the single player. Maybe sometime in the future, man. Maybe if I see it go on sale. Maybe I'll pick it up for you sometime. This, da this game does go on sale quite a bit. I think around like January or December or January was like five bucks. Am I able to make a smith yet? The reason I say that is because... Nope. I need production. As soon as I get a smith, I can start making... The metal tools. And then all my tools will stop breaking so much. But yeah, I might... I was considering, it was in my plans before the end of the year that I was going to start trying to do, like, some Conan Exiles videos. But then with how co-op went, a bunch of other things came up, so it got put on the back burner. In addition to that, there's a bunch of other Dynasty games I want to play and show off. I want to make a video showing off... Uh, Medieval Dynasty VR. I think that comes out sometime this spring. I've never streamed with VR, though. I have a... Oculus Quest. The second one. Oculus Quest 2. And I think it can. I can play it on that. So I might try and... I don't know if I'll stream it or if I'll just make a video. Because I doubt that game's going to get... Because it's VR, I doubt it's going to be as popular for people to play. So I think it'd be cool to show it off. But on top of that, there's like... Uh, I was talking to Disaster Strikes about it earlier. There's... Excuse me. There's Wild West Dynasty. I think in a month or two, will be like a six months since my last Sengoku Dynasty video. So I kind of want to show off what's been added to Sengoku Dynasty in the last six months. I 
I think there was another one. Oh yeah, Vampire Vampire Dynasty. That one's not out yet. A lot of things I gotta find time for. Where is... I broke my hammer. How's our villager doing? Four logs. I'll take it. Three logs. Or maybe I don't need... No, I need some, so... We just need straw now. Sixty four straw. I kind of want to do some hunting too. My villagers are going to need food eventually, and it's a nice start to making money since I can't really make tools right now. I don't know if I've checked Skaki since summer. I saw stranger things. Scarbermira and the guy whose name I can't pronounce. Huh. Alright, 64 straw. It'll be nice once I get an extraction hut, then I'll never have to pick up straw again. How long do I have till that? It's 177 out of 500. I got a while. Did my sickle break? What's going on, Rosla? What happened? Fertilizer. Oh, we finished. Yeah, I'm kind of behind on the barn. I can't really... Get him the fertilizer he needs. Unless I buy it again. But I said I was going to stop buying things. What would Jesus do? I'm just going to go home and figure it out. Wait, did I, I got all the straw, right? 62. I was two away. But since I'm out here... There's one more building. A well. This will level our extraction... Skill pretty quickly. So let's get a well. And eventually a workshop. You know what, let's, let's get 200 straw. It's 
screw it. We'll save ourselves the walk. There was another game that I bought that I kind of want to try out. It's kind of like, it seems like it's like the flavor of the month for people. But it seems like a game that I would be like really interested in playing in. It's called um, Enshrouded. It's a survival crafting game with like, from what I've heard, like Dark Souls mechanics or movement. And I haven't looked much into it. But I've heard like it's an early access game and it's pretty good. So I definitely want to try it out. Hey, just started playing Medieval Dynasty and I found your channel. Awesome guides. Thanks, man. Wanted to ask what location you think is the best area to start a farming slash distillery village. Are you playing on the Oxbow or on the Valley? Because if you're playing on the co-op map, I'll have a slightly different answer. Oxbow. So if you were building like a farming village, hmm, I think this area is this area is pretty flat. You might have to cut some trees down like up here. I think if you check out like this western area, that might be a good spot. Um. Yeah, and there's also a fair amount of flat land over here and you could kind of like incorporate like this bridge, but you're kind of close to the the edge of the map, so you might not like like that area. If not, then I would say like south of Astoria right here. This is a little dangerous, but lots of open space. I have a I think it's the second to last video I put out. That shows off a couple of the locations, like some really good locations to build. Oops, sorry, I just bumped my mic. But if you check out that video, I go over around 10, 10 plus locations. But for farming, I think this area is relatively good. This area is relatively good. And maybe there's like a little valley right here. This is where I have like my own farming town in my original village for the Oxbow. So, and all these locations are in that video. So if you check out that video, you might get some good ideas. But I hope that helps. Herbalist hut, let's go. Alright, take a bath. Drink our bath water. I have no food. I'll just go cook it. We'll just have to deal with the hunger pains. But I think after the resource storage, I would like to build a food storage and then we'll get some animals going. I think some chickens. And one thing that sucks, I don't think many people have talked about because it's happened in like the last couple weeks of updates. Chickens have gotten nerfed like substantially. It kind of sucks. Uh, chicken eggs don't give as much food. Chicken eggs sell for way less and then the food that you cook eggs into also gives less food and also sells for less so 
Makes me sad, because I used to just, like, stack chickens, but... Looks like there was a reason. The more you walk, the hungrier you get. Ain't that the truth. Alright, let's cook. Do bandits start attacking your village? You get to put up walls or something. Um, nope. So, bandit... You can only run into bandits in, like, bandit camps, or... Like, abandoned... Like those abandoned village areas, like those houses like that. And sometimes news camps will just spawn, so. All right, dude. Let me feed him first. So yeah, bandits, like bandit camps respawn in other areas at the start of every season or have the chance to move every season. So sometimes you'll find bandits between like bridges. I think actually bandits might spawn like at this bridge sometimes. But since I'm built so close, they might not spawn. But yeah, they can spawn in random places. I do know the next big update for Medieval Dynasty is armors, shields, and crests. Which sounds kind of like some combat stuff, right? So I don't know if they're going to add bandit raids in the future or in the next update. But I feel like they are going to be doing a lot of combat changes in like the next couple updates. The next big couple updates, not like the small ones. Or at least that's my hope. I would love to have like guard towers, city unrest, maybe villagers that steal from you since, you know, I like to steal from steal so much. Why wouldn't everybody else be doing it in the game? Uh, raids. Definitely with bandits coming to, like, pillage. I think that would be really cool. And have, like, defenders. Especially, like... You don't really have villagers that die from, like, sickness or injury. Even though there are some quests where people are dying from, like, sickness or injury. And, and it would be cool if they incorporated that somehow. You'd like to see more stone building updates to build castles. Yeah, me too. I'm kind of bummed out. Oh, can I see it from here? I'm kind of bummed out that Piastovia gets those really cool walls. And like the gatehouse around their city. And you can't build anything like that for yourself. Because I was, I was really, really hoping we would be able to build those when they first showed them off. And you can't. But yeah, I think stone walls, crenellations, gatehouses. I think Brother Russia was saying something about moats. All right, then. Keep your secrets. But I know there's a lot of people that just like the peacefulness of this game so if they did that i feel like there's going to be some people that don't like that or complain but once again this game has all the custom game settings so you can even can't you turn bandits off am i missing it i thought you could turn bandits off HP damage. Maybe not. Maybe they used to have that and they removed it. Or maybe that's something you have to do like at the start of the game. But regardless, there are like a lot of customizable ways for the game. So it would be cool if they had more combat oriented settings. Alright, this guy needs a sickle bad. But I can't make sickles. So I have no choice but to spend money. But the good news is we have the resource storage so I can just put all this stuff away. I don't have to carry everything anymore. I'm going to keep the sticks because they're going to turn that into firewood if I don't. Put the copper away, the stone away. 
I like having the potions on me. Put the leather away. Aren't there high palisades that are unlockable? I believe there are... They're just normal palisades. Right here. Which aren't super high. But they're still cool. I just like the idea of being able to have like the... Uh, the walkable walls. I'm going to grab a couple sickles from Skocky. How much money do I have? That is not a lot of money. Ten percent more HP or ten percent slower food and water. Probably slower food and water. And then we'll take I'll probably come to handyman later. And we're gonna try and push up towards builder's trance or builder master. But yeah, I can't create a sickle if I don't have a smithy. Right? Where's the smithy? Extraction. Production. 12 out of 50. I need to craft a lot more. So maybe like a workshop. And then the smithy. I was kind of worried that this location would be like really bad to build in. But so far, it seems like it's working out well. And I kind of like being closer to Skaki. At least I think I'm going to like it more in the long run. Yeah, it's you. Oh, I, do I have to do your quest? No way. Can I just buy your stuff? Do, do, please. Please. Okay. Okay, fine. I gotta figure out... Can I... I can't drop quests. I'm really gonna have to do that puzzle sooner or later. How is life treating you? That guy has a quest. Where there's somebody in the village that looks exactly like... His house looks the exact same and I... Haven't gone through figuring it all out yet. In fact, I haven't done as many side quests in this game as, or in this map that I feel like I should have at this point. Unfortunately, since the beginning of the year, I've been a lot more busy. Like outside of videos. This is what we're going to do. All oh, diplomacy, hell yeah. That, that, there we go. <clears throat> oh. Let's do diplomat. Extra diplomacy. Or dynasty reputation. Maybe we'll just sell all this stuff. Because I'm not going to use these spears. What do I do for a living? I work on computers. Sell these stone spears. And these temperature potions. I don't think I'll need them. But no, usually the beginning of the year is busier for me, so... It'll probably slow down... Relatively soon. Can I 
interest you in all right they didn't do that much for one I got 400 401 I feel like one copper sickle is still not going to be enough can I in see you around you know you know what this means we're gonna have to we're gonna have to resort to doing what we do best Because of the last video, I kind of know where some items are. Assuming it's the same items, there should be a sickle in here. Nice. I think there's... I said I wasn't going to do this. But here we are. Stealing once again. just too good get some gloves I'm gonna put the gloves on no one suspects a thing shame I know. Covering my face right now. I'll pay it forward in the future. Eventually the economy in this area is going to explode. I just need... I just need like a year. I think this is just enough money to go home. How is life treating you? Skaki. So I need to build a barn. I need to build everything. I feel so behind. I need the herbalist hut, hen house. I could probably wait on the hen house now that I think about it. But if I want villagers to have food, I'll worry about a food storage when I get more villagers. They recently buffed the chests. I think it might be only in the test branch right now. But in the test branch right now, they're testing <clears throat> they're testing the chests and they're gonna make it so that food spoils the same speed in like house chests versus like the food storage chest so it won't actually be bad to put food in like a villager chest that's what the judge says you need about a year i don't know man in this in this time period they'd probably take my hands All right, there's a sickle for you. Can we build like a barn like right here? That would be perfect. Can I get rid of this? I don't know if that's going to... Keep it gone though, is it? Perfect, okay. Another little trick you can do if you have rocks in the way. Hopefully that's enough space. Ah, so close. Oh well. We tried. Did they bring armor in yet? You hear it's coming? Yeah, so that's the next update. Um, I think I posted on my, in my community post somewhere. I don't know how far down it is. 
there's like a I posted their their like plan for the year. And I'm pretty sure armor crests and shields were the second half of the year. I'd have to look at the roadmap again. Actually, you know what I want to do? This is what we're going to do. We're going to take this road even further up. Oh, we're going to have it go north. Planning a little bit of expansion. And then... Maybe I can put the barn up here. I don't like having them on these wooden foundations. There we go. I think the barn overlooking the fields, which will be all in this area, will be like perfect. But we need stone. I took survival sense so I can see him on the ground now. But I'm looking forward to the armor crests and shields update because there's a lot of potential for more, I mean, armor, obviously, but maybe more clothes. Hoping more advancements in combat. Because I feel like if you're adding crests and shields, there must be a reason like, at the current point in time, let's say, if we had shields in the game, they might be helpful versus bandits. But you really don't need them. I think if you were getting attacked by, like, a lot of things at once, a shield would be better. So yeah, part of me hopes that there's... I want to hear a bit more of their plans for this next update. There's a lot of potential, but they might just skip half of it. They need to have bandit raids. Bandit raid... Bandits raid your town. That's what I'm saying. I think, like... Kind of like how the purges in Conan. I think having, like, a random, like... I guess even... I guess a better more recent example would be like power world like there's like a you could just be in town and then all of a sudden you'll have like a notification like x thing is raiding your base go defend it i think that would be cool and like hypothetically let's say the bandits get to your resource storage what if it's like oh they take 10 percent, 20 percent however many percent of your supplies Because especially in the end game, there are no... You just have so many supplies. You don't even know what to do with them. I'm going to help this guy out, though. He clearly needs it. It's nice that he builds, like, when you have your farmer, they'll build your building tech for you. But if you're relying solely on your villagers to do everything for you, you're not actually going to gain skill points. So you at least have to do some of the work, you know. I think farming is one of the ones that I usually try to help out a lot with. Yes, pigsty. I might skip chickens actually and go to pigs first because I need that manure so desperately and my scythe is broken all right bedtime
We're on the last day and we still have a lot to work on the field. So unfortunately, I might just skip on planting cabbage. Because I'm low on fertilizer. If I can rush this barn, I might be able to get to it. To be fair though, I think having that woodcutter is saving us a lot of time. Even though it's still taking a fair amount. I still have to cut trees, but I definitely don't have to cut as much. I think they bring in something around like 20 logs a day. Where's the maple trees at? Maple trees give you a little bit more experience and logs and extraction. I'm not seeing them in this area though. We got two points for extraction. Master destruction. 50% recovery resources. I thought I grabbed this already. Careful miner or mule. We're going to go with mule. You can never go wrong with extra. What was an extra five kilograms of weight. Now, the one thing I do like about this update is they added, like, so many different ways to, like, increase your carry weight. Like, there's, like, a, a drink that increases your carry weight. Obviously, there's the potion. But then there's, like, food now. I like that there are, like, so many different options. I used to like hate playing I would I would say hate but I used to not like playing uh without unlimited carry weight because it just felt like you just did not have enough but I've come to appreciate potions in the food a bit more One thing I think that would be kind of interesting that isn't in the game, where is it? It's, is it production? Builder's Hut. One thing I think they should add to the game that's not in the game is with the Builder's Hut. So if you build a Builder's Hut, you put a builder in there and you can have them repair all your buildings for you. Which still takes a lot of time. Like you have to go to management, go click on the buildings and manually have them fix each one. But I think it would be really cool as if if you got the builder's hut, you could arguably say, oh, the builder's helping you, in quotes, helping you build buildings. So you can just pull from the resource storage when you're building like stuff. Because you wouldn't be able to do it until you get 7,500 building tech. And that's pretty late game. 
So I don't think that would be like completely busted. I don't know how everybody else would think about that though. Alright, so we got the barn. We can make some animal speed, but I don't need that. We need fertilizer. And I think I left some fertilizer in my house. Yes. We got some manure. I kind of want to decide where I want to build like a village, like neighborhood. You know, this area is kind of flat, actually. Maybe I could build like four or five houses back here. Or I could do more farms. But we're going to make this 27 fertilizer. And this still isn't going to be enough. But I'll take the farming skill. Village whistleblower. I don't have a mount yet. How far am I, how far am I away from a mount? We have... Two fifty. We're almost halfway. I feel like I'm gonna get a, a skill point before I get the donkey. But I'm gonna take it anyway. Hey, let's just do farming master and farmer trance. I'm roasting out here. Why am I dying? No heat protection. Did I drop my gloves? I didn't mean to do that. That was kind of risky actually picking that up because if he saw, I would have lost rep. You do seven day seasons, come year three, you're ready to start over. Only been playing it for a little over a month. You like to start the game. Yeah, once you get to like the end game, like, and especially after, I think I usually get pretty established and set up before like year six, I would say, usually, usually doing like three day seasons. And then after that, it's kind of, if you're big into management or create like, you know, building cool settlements and stuff, that's what I usually do once I get to that end game. But I've always wanted to do like a challenge where I do like one day seasons. Damn, it's hot. It would take it'd be super stressful because everything would be going by so quickly. But then it wouldn't feel like, oh, I did everything and now now I have to work on, you know, doing the family thing and then wait 20 years. We're gonna take this flax. And we're just going to thresh it all just to get some farming. Water sculpture. It's all right, dude. You're on the last we're on the last day of summer. You won't be dying for too too long. I could set everything to two or two hundred percent. I've considered. There's a lot of things I've considered. Like you can tune so many of the settings, but then I just revert to playing how I usually play. I. 
don't really have anything I can plant this season. What? Do I have a bag? I do have a bag. It's stolen, but I have a bag. Cabbage. That's it. Yeah, I don't have cabbage. Here you go, my dude. Wait, I've considered doing like hardcore challenges. Um, take some clothes off. The one day season challenges. I don't really care to do like a a money challenge. It took a lot longer to get a million coins than I expected, and I don't want to do that again so soon. Huh. How much money we got? 66? I have some stolen items I can sell, though, so we're going to go to... Piestovia. Temporarily. So I think next up we have the workshop. We're going to build. Food storage can wait. Resource storage is good. We could build the well. That would be really easy. We don't need the herbalist hut. Pigsty. I got three buildings I need to build. I can't talk to him because I need to do the quest. Where's one person I can sell to? I just need one person. Bozina. Bozina. Take the gloves. I don't need it. I don't like to carry too many stolen items on me anyway. It's kind of annoying. Especially if you, like, drop it. Good luck. Huh. Damn, it's hard. How do you do? To Piestovia, please. Just got subsistence, died three times in 20 minutes while live streaming. I'm ashamed. No. I feel that, man. I died earlier this stream. It was, it was embarrassing. It was so sad. I was getting mobbed by literally everybody and their mother. For whatever reason, the pigs were helping the bandits. The bandits were helping the pigs. I had no chance. What is culture? I don't know what to do for you, man. Except maybe steal and not get caught. This is worse. This is worse. This is worse. Yeah, I'm just going to be begging for, I guess, I don't know, cooling off. I can, I'll just buy a potion. It's not killing me, it's just going to be annoying if he just keeps asking. Who was the potion lady? Potion seller. Give me one of your finest potions. 60 coins. Turns out I, I don't want one of your potions. I'll just deal with the nagging. 
Or even better. Steal these potions. None of these are temperature potions. Okay. I'm going to sell what I can. Just the things I don't need. I could, oh, you know, I'll sell, I only need 80, it was 80 seeds, right? Oh, I got to do math. All right, 19. There we go. 80 seeds. We got a little bit of money. And now we can buy... I was going to buy out all the manure. And I think this guy also sells seeds, right? Cabbage seeds. I don't think we're going to do an entire field. Yeah, I don't even have enough money to do an entire field. We're just going to do like 20 cabbage seeds. Wants to see my wares? Take care. Some poor people work so hard, and I come in and just take their stuff. <laughs> I need. I know. I need. I need to. I need to change my ways. I feel even more bad when, like, my village is completely established, and it's like the start of the season, and then I just go to each village, and sell them like a thousand bronze sickles and then they're all just like everybody has a hundred bronze sickles and no money <laughs> i don't know how that's doing for the economy but all right back to skaki oh i don't have money Bye. i'm roasting out here It's because the Wagoner is bleeding me dry. It's his fault. I wouldn't have to do what I do. If he wasn't costing me so much money. Price is so have a nice day. I bet the Wagoner goes home at night and is just like balling. He just lives in like this big ass mansion. Oh, it's you again. He's like, oh, you're encumbered. That's going to cost you extra. Boy. All right, we got seeds. We got manure. We can at least... I don't know if I've been in that cave before. I bet it just goes to the other one somehow. All right, home sweet home. Can I make? I'm really lacking on production. So I would need to make like a workshop or something like that. Hey Lucas, how's it going? Craft all this fertilizer.
know we could do? We can't. I'm I'm broke. I can't do that. So while he's working, I might need some more hoes. Three. That's probably not enough. I'll take the flax. He can take the flax seeds. And the fertilizer. And the cabbage seeds. Maybe I'll plant the cabbage seeds. We only have one day left, so it's going to take him a while to do whatever he's doing. So I'm going to help him. And I'll get some points along the way. Good thing that we have this whole planting the seed process a lot more enjoyable. If I was going to do this again, I might cut the field down just a little bit. Maybe to like 50. I think that would have been much more manageable. That'll work though. A joke in there somewhere. I, I totally missed it, I guess. All right, we got some logs. We got some sticks. All right, let's, let's get these other buildings started. I want a well. We're just putting this, like, next to the house. I also want some pigs. We're going to put the pigs up next to the barn. Because that's where we're going to be making our fertilizer. In fact, let's do something like you can walk through this. I'm roasting out here. Pigs. Right here. Nope, that's that's hens. Pigs. We're gonna put it like right next to the house. Or the barn. Let's do right here. You just keep sighing at me. I can't help you, man. I wish I could. You're just gonna have to wait till the start of the new season. Too bad I didn't buy any temperature potions. Or I couldn't find any. I should take some clothes off. Okay. Let me know how that works. You're naked now. He's the one that said it. I feel like that's just gonna you're just losing your heat protection, man. Do you know if unripe berries will turn into rot? Yes, they will. Hmm. All these grains. Put these away. Black stocks. We'll use those once we get the sewing hut. And then we're going to take all these logs and these sticks and get to building. Come on. There we go. 
got the well. We can level our extraction really easily with the well. Then we can build the pigsty. Where do we want to put the workshop? If I could fit this like right here, it would be ideal. That just barely fits. But yeah, realistically, if you if you like plan ahead of time, I could probably do that before the end of the season. You just pick up what is it, ten ten berries per fertilizer. So I would have to pick eight hundred berries. And I could fertilize my entire field. And there are berries around here. One log off, two logs off. And then that gives us next season to Damn. buy some pigs. I'm trying to think out what else we'll need. Yeah, I'm pretty sure taking off my clothes did nothing for you, my guy. Yeah, that actually made it worse. That will just hold me over. And I think we're done with barn stuff for now. We can complete the pigsty. But this means we're going to need an animal breeder and another house for there. Or I could get married. Perfect. Hey, Amanda. There should be a hat you can steal in the back of Piestovia by the iron sides. I did see that. I just didn't happen to grab it. Maybe I will get that for the future. I was literally over there, too. Complaining about heat. I don't know why I didn't grab it. If you're playing a female character, how does getting pregnant work if you're unable to do stuff for two years? I think it swaps to after you have the baby, the dad stays home and watches the kid and right? I don't know. I haven't actually played a female character and gotten to that point. I know you can buy items for them and I remember seeing in the trailers like when you have a baby, the guy is holding the baby, which makes me believe that the guy is just stay at home, uh, is stays at home instead. 
for the first two years. And then you can still do whatever you do. Back to the resource storage. There must be stuff in here. There must be. Yes. Probably not enough, though. Close. I need three more logs. We unlocked the four person house. I think there's really no point in building the four person house unless you want your people to start having children. Else it's just more cost effective to build the simple house. Yes, if you're a female character, the husband stays home with the child. That's what I thought. Thanks for clarifying. I just wasn't sure because I've never actually done it myself. I'm roasting out here. It's okay. The season is almost done. Oh, he didn't cut all of my... My flax. That's just wasted. Did he break the last sickle? No. And I have like... No Wait. Okay, we can come back from this. I just have to make it to Skaki before it shuts down. I have things to sell. I just have to get there before they go to bed. Maybe I'll check the villagers, too. I need I need another farming villager, I believe. Are one of you farmers? Drogo, whatever his name is. Drogo is a uh, farmer. What a sculpture. You prefer to have 30 day season then just skip like now that that makes the most sense right but it's it's no big deal if i lose a little bit of what 25 flax i have i i still got like 350 uh flax stocks don't worry price it take care it's a little bit of courage and you'll find a wife but Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. I can always make it back and in, in quotes other means. All right, they will definitely see that. I'm going to... <laughs> Dreadnought, please. I'm struggling out here. I saw Stranger Things. Exactly, I'm borrowing them. Remember, I'm going to boost the economy. 
as soon as I, uh, yeah, I'm going to boost the economy. As soon as I get one sickle, I'm not getting that one sickle. I'm getting pickaxes for days, though. Screw flax. I'm going to go mining, guys. I need that smithy. See, if I had a smithy, I could be making my own sickles. You're just going to have to sleep through the summer without food, my guy. I'm not feeding you. <sighs> well, I never said I was perfect. I'm just surprised I didn't have an extra sickle. I should be allowed to make sickles in the workshop. I wish. Copper knife, yeah. See, technically, if I stole these items earlier, I would have had enough money to, to buy the sickle. That's okay. It won't happen again. And I got cabbage now. All right, time to ramp up. Just, just you watch. All right, so this season, we got the workshop, we got the well, and we got the pigs. So we're gonna get one new villager. And then we're gonna get the pigs. Then we'll have manure going. I should have enough time to plant rye. And then I won't have to worry about planting for the winter season. And then by spring, I'm set. I'm set. It's just this first year that's a bit of a rush. And I can sell all these flax seeds that I don't need. Oh, I'm going to have to start producing animal feed. That's okay. Leaving for real this time. Thanks for everything. See you later, Austin. Go Niners. <laughs> hey, we got our we got our uh, our home state. Or at least I do. I can't say I watched that much football though. It's Chiefs versus Niners, right? For Super Bowl? I think that's what it was. All right, next house.
gave up on sports. I never really got into them from the start. But <clears throat> since like it's since I'm in California and our you know, a California sports teams in the Super Bowl, like everybody's just been running around with flags and jerseys the last like the entire weekend. Only one log. You must have more. No? Okay. That is okay. This area is almost completely cut down. And then probably the start of the next season. I need to dig it all up so it doesn't grow back. I'm thinking we'll put like the communal fire in this area. And then once we can unlock market stalls, we'll probably put market stalls in this area. Maybe even like the kitchen. It'd be nice if she just cut a little bit faster. It's my fault because I died and I wasn't able to recruit that level three uh, extractor in time. I think this one's only a two. Was Walda? Yeah, she's a two. So not the best we could have. Just the constant breathing of my character. I swore you're supposed to be able to turn off the breathing. Play in background voice. I guess like it's voice, isn't it? I'll just I'll just tune it down. There we go. So the so he's just not breathing in my ear constantly anymore. How would I die? Let a tree fall on me? You would think, right? It was it was it was much more convoluted than that. I went to go find some bandits to kill to get like twenty dynasty reputation in the middle of the night. And I ran into a bandit camp that had five bandits or so and while i was trying to fight them i got ambushed by a boar and then i killed the boar and then another boar came out and then a third boar was about to come out and then i died so i got mauled the bandits and the the boar were working together it's kind of sad
get like 10 logs. How many logs do you think I need? Probably 10. One more tree. Oh, I forgot about the roof. I'm gonna need like two more logs, three more logs. Yeah. But after this building, I think we'll be set for a while. I can get two more villagers. And I think at that point, I'll probably have to start the food storage. I have 800 coins. Gonna need an extra bucket for water. Please move. I didn't mean to swing at you. You have 800 of your neighbor's coins. <laughs> what do you mean? They're my coins. I earned these. I, I, I worked for them with my own two hands. Sitting on your ten to watch some medieval dynasty. How's how's work going, disaster? We've gotten a bit of work. We've got three houses. We got the farm shed. We got the farm. We got the barn. We got a pigsty, and we have a workshop and the resource storage. So we've got a lot of buildings going on. We're about to get two more villagers. I want to get. One more farmer, and maybe another person for the pigsty. And then pigs. Should I get the pigs first or should I get the farmer first? I just had to spend 100 coins to learn the bucket, so that's a little bit less money, but that's all right. Yeah, maybe I should get my villagers established, because if I don't have a villager in the pigsty, they won't really be passively generating manure. I can probably still get all of them the same season. Ten food left. Maybe I'll take some firewood.
They can definitely get the pigs this season as well. But I should probably get the villagers established first. Make sure they have water. All right. Farmer. Two farmers. Yeah, two farmers. One of them, I guess, doesn't have to be a farmer if they're going to be working in the field. Or I could, I could just put him as the animal breeder. I have one farmer already. So realistically, if there's a guy and a girl here, I could just take anybody. I think a backup hunter or a backup excavator would be nice. Because eventually we're going to build a second woodshed so we can get more logs earlier. Oh, Drogo left. How sad. We got Wojislawa and Tybalt. Oh my god. Whoa! This dude's got four threes. Three in excavation, hunting, farming, survive. This guy is like a, a special villager. Yes, please join. I had a hunch you would invite me. Dude. You're you're boosted. That guy is as close to a special villager as you probably can find. Scarbermiera. Uh, she's got a one in farming. We'll take Scarbermiera. She's kind of trash. Nope, I can't take Scarbermiera. My dynasty reputation is lacking. Okay. Clearly, I need to be doing more quests. But we got Tibald. The God Villager. Something I haven't been doing that I should have been doing this entire time is traps. I completely forgot about traps. We could have been getting like extra meat coming in. I feel like before Oxbow, Hunting Lodge would have been one of the places you should take like first because you want to make sure like your villagers have food but with how good food is now especially like roasted meat you can kind of just use traps to supplement your food while you wait for your your plants to go so we'll give them the four roast meat so he's got food uh, T bald. We're just gonna put him in the farm shed right now until I get the pigs. And he's probably not gonna be able to do much. Is there food in here? 160 cabbage? That's what I like to see. So 20, okay, we'll give, we'll give him about 20, and then we'll give the other guys 20, and then the next building we'll do is food storage, so we won't have to worry about manually feeding these guys anymore.
In fact, give me your, your firewood. Firewood in here. We're even gonna throw the cabbage in here. We're clearing space. Rye grain. We don't need the stones. I'll keep the sticks and the straw. We can drop the wheat and the grain. Now. I should. How many logs do we have? Fifteen logs. I'll take all the logs. Fifteen hoes. It should boost my my production a little bit. And I know he's gonna be going through a lot of hoes. So give him the extra ones. What do you mean? A lot of red words. That's it. I'm turning a new leaf. No, I'm not. Who am I kidding? We're going to go to Piestovia. And... We need to pick up rye. We need fertilizer. Let's screw the fertilizer. Let's get... Pigs. Let's get pigs. I'm trying to think. How much are pigs? I don't remember what how much they are now. They're probably like 400, 300. Did I put all those seeds? Yeah, I did. I right, screw it. Pigs can wait. We're gonna get the the seeds. Hello there. Piestovia. Buy grain and sell flatbread. Yeah, that's the plan. But I don't think I can build a kitchen yet. Where's the kitchen at? Yeah. Once I get the kitchen, I'll start going down the flatbread route. I want to get the kitchen and the smithy next. Those are like my next two. Alright, Markusla. I don't think I have anything I want to sell to you. Nah. But I do want to buy... I am not going to have the money for this. We're downsizing the field for now. Until I, uh... Better sustain myself. But I just take it, you know. No, I have I have standards. If it's not in a chest that I can open, I can't just take it from him. That's rude. Who do you take me for? Oh, my God, look at a bucket. You think I would just take things from people without asking? Like I'm some sort of 
thief. Shame. Oh, I know what I need to do. This is what we're going to do. Notice board. Oh, you want... Look at... All right. Dreadnought, close your eyes. Close your eyes, Dreadnought. You can't look at this. Oh, yes. I totally forgot to get this stuff. Derwin's house usually has some good stuff in it. <laughs> FBI, we got him. No. No. This is this is just this is how it has to be. It's the it's the only way. I'll pay bail. I can pay bail. Just give me like One, give me one season. Is that true? I'll do some quests. This will make everybody like me. Forty-four sticks, seven pigeons, five badgers. Pigeons and badgers. I have to go search for those guys. But I can do the sticks. That one's easy. I could probably buy rot. Do you have sticks or rot? He should have sticks. I don't know about rot. Hunt quests aren't worth it. It's, if it's like birds, I usually just skip it. If it's like a wolf or a fox, like I usually, I feel like I run into them all the time. So it kind of depends on the animal for me. All right, who do we got to turn this quest into? Derwin? It's always Derwin. Hello there. Good luck. Bridge materials. I need 20 more rep before I can invite that last guy. Where can I get 18 rock quick? Yeah, I can't think about. I'm trying to think. Badgers are a pain to hunt. Yeah, I, 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 I do not like hunting badgers. I agree with you there. Carrot, manure, apple. No. No rot. Well, that's kind of lame. I guess I can, you know what I can do? I can do this. What quest is this? This is the beat, beetroot quest. 70 beetroot. That is a lot of reputation. But where am I gonna get 70 beetroot? Doesn't he sell beetroot? Isn't this the guy that sells beetroot? You sell 26.
Can I do the dumb missing mugs quest? Yeah, I can. That was the one I was looking for initially. Crisis. Have a good day. But I just ran into this guy. Yeah, it doesn't look like that one's available at the moment. Does he just give it to me if I talk to him? Nah. I guess I gotta wait. I know what quest you're talking about, though. Should be season one? Yeah, I'd... Don't see it. Maybe I missed it because I didn't do it like the first. If you said it's season one, then yeah, I probably just didn't do it. I was... I was, I was exploring. I was exploring. Right, Dreadnought? I was just exploring. I wasn't doing anything nefarious. Could be cool if they do random maps like Don't Starve. Random maps or like being able to make your own map I think would be really interesting. There's definitely enough pieces. Yeah, just take me back to Skaki. This day's a bust. You mean thieving? No, 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 oh, no, never. I would never. I'm a saint. See, Dreadnought knows what's up. You can ask him. He'll vouch for me. Well, regardless, I got um, I got my rye grain. Is this all fertilized? Nope. Why would it be? We're desperate out here. I got plenty of food. I got food for days. I'm going to sell. Look at all this. I got so many flax stalks. What I really need to do is get a sewing hut. Here we go. We'll take these. And we got our traps off. Get some extra meat. I could sell those. That's a lot of money. But I could just use them too. What year am I in? I'm in year one. I started fresh today on this, this save. I'm, I would say I'm making pretty good time for year one, regardless. I mean, obviously, I'm a bit more distracted, you could probably tell. But... We're, yeah, I'm, I'm still getting a lot done. There wasn't much of a plan going into this. It was kind of just... We're chilling today. Just building and... Seeing where things go. 
So we almost have enough for a kitchen. The kitchen might be our fastest way to making money. So maybe we'll just focus on getting that last five production and building that. Which I can probably do by just getting stone. Exactly. It's the trolling. It's the it's the bandits and the pigs. I'm thirsty. Everything's everything's up uh, up against me today. Everything's out to get me. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna persevere though. I don't know how many. So it was like 20. I want to say stone axe give close to a point of production per. Close. And my traps are already going off again. I can also cook. Oh, here we go. Let me grab all those sticks. I think I had some sticks in here. They might be burning them because I'm not really making fire. What I need to set that as well. Actually, how about this? Rye grain, you go away. You're a plantain addict, have at least 200 of them on you. See, I, I was like that too. I really like plantains. And then like my last couple of videos, I've been messing with potions a lot more. And I'm just addicted to potions now. Plantains are still really good. Obviously, you need them to make potions, too. But when you can just, like, pick up plantains and just get, uh, five, what, HP per plantain. Honestly, sometimes it's just better picking up the plantains and not even worrying about making potions. I really need to figure out, I really need to do that, uh, that puzzle quest. I'm literally locked behind using a, a, a vendor because I haven't done it. You can take the stolen buckets. Take the knife. Oh, I stole these hammers here. Oh well. We can sell these in Piastovia.
before we go there. Yeah, I know you guys need fertilizer. Hello. I'm working on it. I'm just doing 20 things at once. And it's completely hindering me. So I'm going to pop off next year. I did not mean to pick that up. Whatever I just picked up. 7 meat and 12 carrots. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Doing better. Excuse me, sir. Did I take this stuff? I did not. could use a little boost so we're gonna actually just go over here i think i can get some coins i want to say there's a couple hundred coins worth of stuff here maybe like 500 What do we got? I think it's all up top. Should be a copper axe. Some bottles. Instant healing, saturation, beer, coins, fur, more beer. See, maybe I should have just done this from the start. See, this doesn't count as stealing, right? In a in a weird way. Yeah, down here we got the pickaxe. And I think there's a gold... Is it a gold ring? In this bundle? Yeah. I think that was everything. Make sure I didn't miss. Yeah, that's good. Eventually, I want to go north and grab that crossbow. I don't know when I'm going to do it exactly, though. I think once I'm better established. Once the farm's kind of working itself. There's a lot of people here. Oh, my goodness. What do we have? Three. Survival. Three. Survival. Diplomacy. Farming. We invited a guy, though, so we need to invite one of the ladies. Lubomira, maybe. I think we'll go. Or Wolislawa. One of these two. All right, with my newfound loot. Give me money.
Oh yes, I'm rich. I'm so rich she has no money. I took it all. Take the fur, the beer. I'm going to keep the potions of weight. They're just too good. And I got 2,400 coins. That's more like it. Only the see around. It was 12 meat. Was it 12 meats? Seven meat, 12 carrots? There we go. And then I'll give that to Derwin. And that should be the dynasty rep I needed. Okay. I love the ragdolling effects in this game. So long. All right, now we got the rep. We can invite. Who was it? Wojislawa. And then I have enough money to buy a couple pigs. So she's got twos all across the board. She's got a three in excavation. Maybe I'll take. How are you? I'm gonna take the excavator. Lubomir is gonna be our new lumberjack. Woodshed. Replacing Oswalda. Go in this house. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, hold up. Oh, they're all okay. They're good. I just didn't wait for the status effects to drop off. All right now, we're going to go to Skaki, buy some pigs. We'll have a little bit of manure coming in. I think it's this guy. No, it's not you. It's Marcus Law. This guy, I feel like this guy has everything. This guy needs to be split into like two or three vendors. One of these quests, they had a stupid shear stuck in a tree. Almost never found those things while standing right next to them. I don't think I've done that one yet. I really haven't spent as much time doing the quests on this map as I really should have. I'll keep those. Oh no, you're, you're fine. Just, that's not a big spoiler to me or anything. Best. Have a nice day. All right, well, that'll be enough fertilizer. Where's that potion? We're gonna drink a potion of weight. Eat the food. Now we're going to Skaki for real. Hello. Did I say Skaki? I meant Klanitsa. Klanitsa has the pigs. And 
I used to have trouble finding them, but they're just like kind of like off the main road right here. How much? 600. Well, I can at least buy two. Maybe three. I'll buy two and a baby. I don't have animal feed. I'll be fine. I can go get animal feed. Yeah, I can just... I can get animal feed. It's okay. That should hold him over. Yo, this house looks messed up. Is somebody living in here? Y'all really need to work on your place. Even your chest isn't even worth stealing from. Do better. I, I would agree, yeah. How can I help you? Okay, now we're gonna go to Skaki. And we got pigs, we got manure. So our farm is basically set. We got manure coming in now. So what's that leave us with next? We could do chickens if we wanted. I have some hops plants if I wanted to like start a small orchard. The food storage, that's what we need. Food storage is up next. Food storage, kitchen. It's almost harvesting season, yep. That's why I need to make sure I get this going. Fill their trough with what I have. Piggies. This is what I'm going to do. The pigs aren't really going to generate any manure, but I have enough. So we're going to use these two guys to finish this farm as like quick as possible. So here's your fertilizer. Where's the rye grain? I think I put that in the storage chest already. Management. Fields. Empty rye. Can you name your pigs? Yeah, you can name your animals. I think you can... Is it right here? The board? No. You have to go to... The animal tab. Right here. And that's where pigs are. And then right here, this is where you sell. And then if you press H, or I don't know what the console one is. You can name them here. Big Hog. And there's Big Hog. That's how you name your animals. Not as really cool that you can name your animals. A part of me kind of wants them to add, I wouldn't say renaming your villagers. I would say like nicknaming your villagers, right? And I know a lot of people don't like that because like, for example, there's one place in, or I guess in the Discord group where you can like put suggestions. One of the suggestions is about nicknaming villagers. 
and there's a lot of people that you know they like the name the polish scandinavian i think it's polish the polish names and they would rather you know keep them that way i don't think they should get rid of them but i guess a good example like when you're in year 20 like i'm in on like my my main game i have like four people with the same exact name and it's really confusing to keep track of them So I think being able to like nickname them or like do something like that would at least be helpful. Should call one crispy bacon. All right. I don't want to ask. I can't name babies. Oh, right, I'm in the wrong place. Duh. There we go. Crosby. Maybe I'll eat him one day. Like, at the end of his life. Or maybe he'll just be named Crispy Bacon. Alright, we got the manure. Both our farmers are hard at work. Look at them. I might help them out. I have one simple bag. Here. I'll put down like 15. And y'all can do the rest. Oh, we need seeds down. Wait, you fertilized all of this? Oh no, it's this part that needs to be fertilized. Now, the names are definitely hard to pronounce. You don't know how many times I've pulled up their names, like, on YouTube, like, a how to pronounce name thingy. Because I'm just like, how do you say this? I guarantee at least, probably more than 50% of the pronunciations, pronunciations in this game, I get wrong. All right, that's as much help as you're going to get. Probably not going to get any beetroots. The pigs are going. Does that other lady have a job? Oswaldo, I, I took you out. She has a three in farming. You will be the pig lady. The caretaker, the breeder. Good thing that we have this whole family of pigs to take care of. And then we can just like that, twenty five manure a day. So 25 manure a day, 75 manure a season. That's still not enough. I need to get about... 160 manure. That's a lot of pigs. Buckets. Let's make some buckets. This will probably level our production just enough. 
And then we can make the kitchen. And then we can get rich. Actually, let's make some of it into firewood so they keep burning because they I think they keep burning my sticks or logs. Yeah, it'll definitely get better. It's just going to take some time. I just can't I just should be giving them firewood they haven't had any firewood so they would just be suffering so it's mostly on my part but I got my production skill I got a couple skill points to spend solid as a rock let's do that and then build builder trance let's do builder trance Kitchen. Production. Kitchen. I think I said I was going to do the kitchen over here. Can I even fit this anywhere? Maybe building in this area is not going to be as easy as I thought, but it could just be because of all the the stumps I left. Actually, what's what's in here? Just sticks. Yeah, that means I gotta make a, a shovel. I just need two logs. Do I need just laying on the ground? I was just cutting trees down willy nilly. I was planning to dig the stumps up next year. I have a couple years before they regrow, but if they're already getting in the way, yeah, it'll be better just to do it now. Just go take one from the neighbors. Yeah, I'm sure they won't mind. Though at this point, it's going to be harder to find items. They're just... Nobody's going to have anything at this point. But I know you can carry infinite weight inside a chest. You mean like throwing like stacks of items in a wicker basket and then carrying the basket? Yeah, I know about that. About to break my hammer. Not if I don't have stone, though. I've done it a couple times. I don't normally do it, though. In those instances, I mean, I used to play with unlimited carry weight a lot, and I kind of preferred to do it that way, but. If I'm not going to play with unlimited carry, I... Usually what I like to do is like build like the resource storage next to the mine if I can. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that with Skaki. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to walk all of this stuff back. 
At least when I start mining. Do I really not have any raw stone? Am I blind? I thought I put some away. I, just, I have. Oh, I did take it. I'm just dumb. Don't mind me, guys. I'm gonna just build this. Oh my god. Close your eyes, guys. We're just gonna go to sleep. We're gonna forget any of this ever happened. I got 18 minutes. What you can do with logs. So, do I have a stack of logs right here? This is this is kind of what you can do with logs. If you just like There was a trick I learned where you can like balance a log on top of other logs and carry the logs. But it's so it's so convoluted and weird. You can also just push logs with the logs. So here like a a stack of logs on the ground and you drop one. You can like take the one log and like maneuver it and then just literally like push a stack of logs like down a hill. I haven't done it in a while, but yeah, you can you can literally just you could have a stack of a thousand logs and just push it like this and it would work. Weird things that you can do in the game. All right, let's get those. Let's get that stuff that I left in the chest. Take the stone. The sticks. I got the logs. Unlimited carry weight is way easier. Yeah. It's like, if you put in so much work to exploit the encumbrance, you might as well just press the button and turn it off and i i'm one of the people that doesn't have a problem like if you like to play with unlimited carry weight my my longest game i play with mostly unlimited carry weight so i'm totally down for that if you like to do it isn't there a steam achievement for having negative dynasty rep i i think so I probably have it if I did it. I think you have to steal 50 items. If you steal 50 items, you can imagine I probably got that achievement a long time ago. This guy comes to town, everyone locks their doors. I went to the valley map the other night, I kind of like trolling. What's his face? I had him X. What? <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. How could you do that? Not naming any names, but how could you do that? I mean, to be fair, maybe he deserved it. So our kitchen is coming along. We're just down some logs. Just keep digging up these stumps. Not killing bandits is a good way to get like rep. And like loot. They usually have like food and cheese and beer. I ran into a couple of them, but I I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Bandits, pigs. It's a long story. But we got a kitchen. 
So you know what that means. I'm going to bed. I'm the bandit? What? Don't say that out loud. I'm not a bandit. I am the leader of this peaceful village. All right, buckets and all the grain. It's probably not going to be a lot of flatbread at the start. But it's a start. Oh yeah, when I kill bandits in the valley, they don't fall down, down anymore. They just stand up. Yeah, that happened actually earlier in this, uh, like when I was fighting bandits. All right, my extraction's leveled up, but now I can't move. Now I ran into some bandits and I killed one and he just, he just stood there. You should not pay taxes, never? No. Wait. Yes. Is it a double negative? Then yes, I agree. Well, I don't have enough to thresh. Measly amounts of flour. I need to wait for my rye to grow. Or acquire some flour in some type of way. Did they finish planting or did they just. Oh, it's past time for planting. Is today the last day? Oh, this is the morning. They haven't even woken up. We got plenty of time. All right, so traps are all set. The farm should be done by the end of the day. I'm definitely not gonna be able to carry all these buckets. See, this is the one part where playing on uh playing with unlimited carry weight really comes into handy especially with making bulk amounts of flour but i don't even have enough money to learn the schematic so what's the point there's a steam achievement for having minus five thousand taxes i probably have it then it's probably been a while. There's only two achievements. I know there's only two achievements I have missing in this game. Uh, those ones are, I think, pen and hunting and the secret achievement. And I plan to make a video on the secret achievement eventually. Wait, oh, yeah, let's get a drink. Okay, beat roots later. If I lose the rep for it, I don't care. It's fine. Let's take a look from the top. How we're doing. Okay. So, maybe in like, I can't pull out my mouse. I was going to say, maybe in this little area next to the farm, this will be more fields. Like this area going up will all be fields. 
I'm thinking I'll build some houses back there. Maybe some houses across the bridge as well. And this will be kind of like the center. I feel like maybe if I get a tavern, the tavern will go like right here. You got warm clothes or no? I don't have warm clothes. But I do have a workshop. So I can make torches. <laughs> 250 coins. Alright, maybe I need to prepare that soon. That means I need leather. Playing a central fireplace with benches and stuff. Yeah. So I think that's what this area is going to be right here. Pop back up here. So this... I have the kitchen right here, but I think this area... Alright, there we go. Around this area, I think I'm going to have like a communal fire and the marketplace. The markets are going to be a while until I get them as well as a tavern. But yeah, this is probably going to be the location for all of that. And yes, I am, I am hungry. I have zero food. Let's go cook. Some of this meat. You know, I haven't done, like, any hunting. I'm slacking. I did not mean to eat those. I got an extraction point. Woodcutter. Miner's trance. We're going to mule again. Red warrior needs food badly. That's gauntlet, right? Oh, I used to love gauntlet. I used to play Gauntlet on... What was it? The Gauntlet on GameCube and N64. I forgot the names of them. Gauntlet Dark Legacy and... Something something. What are our, what are our farmers? What do, you, what are you guys holding off on? No tool. What tool? You got hose. Oh, you need bags. I have no leather. I need to make sure these are set. All right, guys, you better finish this field before the end of the season. No ifs, ands, or buts. You're, you're doing good. We need money. I don't even have enough money for a wagoner. That's how desperate we are out here. Can I build a smithy soon? No. All right, this is what we're going to do. I have one copper axe. It's not the greatest. A hunting lodge would be nice because I could get some arrows. Because the plan is to maybe get some hunting done. I was just going to go beat them up with the axe, but this axe is kind of broken. So yeah, maybe we'll do Hunting Lodge. I can't do flatbread because I'm broke. I have no money. Yeah, 
yeah. We're just going to go straight for the hunting lodge first. Because then we can just at least make arrows. I prefer... You get more um, hunting XP and hunting tech points if you kill animals with ranged weapons. I don't know how many people know about that. So it's actually better to hunt with a ranged weapon. All right, where, where, where's this place at? Survival. Can I get this like right here? No. Oh, maybe like right here. And then we'll just build a road. Like that. What was that? Oh, that was my pig. I thought there was like an enemy pig all of a sudden. I whipped around so quick. I must have logs. I have a management issue. What's the management issue? Axes. I think I have axes on me. Give them that. I guess I don't have any logs. There's plenty of wood everywhere, though, so I don't have to worry about that. Where's that copper axe? I think the next person I'm going to invite to the village will be another woodcutter. One just doesn't cut it. Maybe I'll let that tree grow back. How is our rep? Population 5, that's probably our capped population. Yeah, 4 out of 4 workers. Adventure. 
It has to be done. What do we have? Better yet. An adventure that involves me acquiring money. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe we won't steal this time. We'll do this the honest way. In fact, it's the end of the season. You know what we can do. It'll give my villager some time to pick some stuff up for me. Is this water not deep enough to bathe? Okay, right there. I'm trying to bathe. The water's just not deep enough. There was a spot. Fight a bear. There's probably a bear close by. How many do I have any arrows? I have 10 bolts. And no crossbow. And then I have a bow and no arrows. I'll fist fight a bear. Iron ore. He would see. No, I just need, like, any vendor. Oh, I keep realizing I, I stole these from this town. We just need enough. Because how this works is either we're going to die before the end of the season... Or it's going to teleport us back. How much food do we have? Zero. We can make do. We're going to go to Skaki. Klonika. Sorry. We're in, we're in Skaki. We're going to go to... Klonica. I don't have money to go to Klonica. We're going to go to Piastovia. And then we're going to hit up some of these abandoned places. I might fight a bear on the way. I think there are some bears that hang out over there. But I'm more likely going to find bandits. Um, I got the ring in this area. I think that's the only abandoned camp I've explored. But right here, I always feel like this is a hidden spot. I didn't, I missed this like the first couple times I played the coverlet. Under here, because these barrels are usually empty. These bags are empty. Some flour, some wine.
More flour. Say under the stoves there's a sack. Let me check that out. After I pick this stuff up. Stone spear. Wicker crate, 150 coins. That's everything in here. Spiked cudgel. That's what I wanted. Probably use those against the bandits. This bow's kind of trash. You said there's some sacks over here, but I think they might have been empty for me. Yeah. None for me on this run. Yeah, this iron this iron spike cudgel is going to carry us. And let me save. I don't think I have saved manually for a long time. Ooh, a camp. We got a broken knife, more arrows, another crappy bow, food. In fact, I might eat that. It'll buff me up a bit too. I also took the stamina potion because I might run a bit. Look around, make sure I didn't miss anything. I always miss something. But oh. This is another good place to build that I talked about in my video. Pretty safe until you like go over across the water. More beer. All right, bandits. Let me add him. Come on out. Is it just you? Ow, dude. Yep, there he is. He just dies standing up. <laughs> with his eyes closed. Anyway, what do you have on you? Food, arrows. That's what I like to see. Didn't he drop a knife? He had a knife in his hand. Oh, stone knife. There's got to be more people in here. Yeah. Come on. Come on out. If he doesn't want to come out... Yeah, this is definitely a bug. He's just taking a nap.
I'm going to take the arrow back if you don't mind. I got a lot of arrows now. They're kind of trashy arrows, but... I'll take it. It's better than nothing. This is going to encumber me. Oh, two of my people in my village are starving. I knew I forgot to build something. I didn't build the food storage. They'll survive. I think I looted everything. And sometimes there's a bandit camp around here. And then there's one up here as well sometimes. Well, not a bandit camp, but abandoned camp. It's not. All right, pigs. Take me home. You can do better than that. I wonder if they're ever going to add, like, you lose items when you die, or dynasty rep loss when you die, or something along those lines. Here, take these apples. Used to die when you die. It still happens in the valley, right? Like, you don't respawn in the valley. I think the reason... They don't have, like, a game over screen for... The Oxbow is because it's the multiplayer map. So if somebody dies, you can't really have a game over. It's kind of just like respawn. But like... Even if you like play... Like for example, Sengoku Dynasty. It's not the same developers, but it's the same publishers. Uh, if you die in Sengoku Dynasty, like you lose like a portion of your coins or your health or... Just little things, right? How was our field? Y'all didn't finish the fields? Come on, guys. Oh yeah, my traps are good. Maybe that was all my rye. Check Discord. Where's that rye grain? Rye, rye, rye. Wait, did we use all the rye? I have one. Or I have four. I thought I bought enough. Did I not? Oh, I bought 50, didn't I? Okay, that makes sense. I want to put all of my 
potions away. Eventually these are just gonna like keep me down. Anyways, the farm's pretty much good to go. That means next season we're gonna get a lot of uh, flatbread. We should get started on this food storage. Okay. Food storage, we'll put it like next to the kitchen. Let's get rid of these stumps. I think that's a good spot. And hopefully we have enough logs and sticks. Because I think I let them gather for most of the day. I didn't actually check. Well, they burned through the firewood already. sure I'll have a couple left over. Wait, no. I forgot. This building takes a lot of logs. Pick up that plantain. Well, normally I might have drank a potion. Normally, I might have drank a potion, but since it's like the end of the season, when you like start the next season up, it's going to like refill all of my stuff. So actually, like I have no plantains will be around. Oh, they won't be around next season. Maybe, maybe you're on to something. Maybe you're on to something. Maybe I'll pick up like a dozen just in case I need them for winter. Because I'm going to be dying. Because it's cold. Just buy them so cheap. Yeah. But that's what I've been saying about everything. And that's why I have no money. <laughs> or like, I'll just buy my, my manure. I'll buy my fertilizer. I'll buy my grains. They'll probably be better to not buy manure. But I'm pretty sure I'm done buying manure. Now that I have the pigs. And on to winter. Why did I lose rep? Oh. Whatever. That's okay. Hold on one second, guys. I gotta run downstairs really quick.
Alrighty. Winter is here. We need to finish the food storage. Because all my people are going to start dying soon. You hate winter in real life? Not too bad today. I don't hate winter that much. I like winter because where I live, it never rains. And then like our summers are like super hot. So by the time like winter comes, I'm like, thank God. I think summer is my least favorite season, at least where I live. I need to get straw. Straw sticks. No, I know, I know what you're saying. See, I live in California, so my winter is probably like some people's summers. Oh, Chicago? Oh, yeah, I bet it's hella cold down there. Your summer, you live in Brazil. Yeah, I think our... Our heats... They don't usually get, like, awful. I think our... We, we get hundreds on average in the summer, but sometimes... We'll get like mid one tens. I uh, I just don't want to leave the house. For winter, in addition to getting the food storage all set up, it just bothers me so much that this person is looking the opposite direction every time. Please sit with the group. Anyway, I want to invite one more ex excavator into the village because we need another woodcutter. I just don't want to cut as many trees and, and get as much sticks. And then I'll have one that's like entirely focused on firewood, so we don't have to worry about them burning things when they need it. You've come in and had to chip the ice off your beard? Oh, hell no. Yeah, I'd... I don't think I'd want to deal with that, that kind of cold. Hey, I don't have my torch out and I'm not dying. So, you know, that's a bonus. I should better warm myself up. Okay, now I'm dying. I spoke too soon. Huh. 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 
six logs, ten logs, ten logs and eight sticks. Winter's good for questing. Yeah, I, I really like winter because it really gives you a break from having to do all your farms, especially when you're like me and you just do way too many farms. Now, this is a good season to get some reputation. I have pigs, so I don't really need more pigs. I don't need uh, manure, so that's going to build up. I almost killed this lady. Okay. And I definitely want to quest and do notice board for winter. I need sticks. There we go. I just need one axe. I might also, um... I think this might be the season we get the crossbow. I'm thinking this is the season. I think we'll have time. Because we have plenty of arrows to kill bandits. We can pick up that crossbow. And then we'll have plenty of bolts, because we already have 10 bolts. And then we, we won't have to worry about replacing our ranged weapon for a while. Do you guys prefer bows or crossbows when it comes to ranged weapons? all coming together three more i think a spruce tree is three because birch is two you know what where's my shovel did i break my shovel <laughs> okay All right, this is the plan, guys. Next time I stream, I'm going to turn co-op on. And I'm going to have you guys all work for me. How's that sound? <laughs> Did I harvest the, the wheat? Um, I don't think so. I don't think it's ready to be harvested, right? Yeah, I think I planted rye, so rye takes two seasons to grow. So it's going to be growing all season. The next season we can... Oh, from last season? Yeah, I got the cabbage from last season. Last season we harvested uh, cabbage and planted rye. Right now. It was summer. Summer we did cabbage. Fall, we did rye. This uh, season, we wait. Next season, we harvest. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's normal. Half the field is empty, though, because I said I'm just going to 
keep my field smaller for now. Yeah, I should have planted oats. Especially now that I'm getting animals, I'm going to have to start planting oats so I can get animal feed. I have a lot of things I could sell, actually. Maybe I should head into town. We just need... Yeah, I just needed a, those last couple logs. This one you usually have to go to the back to build. It's kind of weird to build inside. But now we got the food storage. We can... Feed and... Uh, I guess... Give everybody what they want from one building now. That'll be less of a pain. Especially now that we're going to be getting a lot more villagers coming in. You do open servers on Don't Starve Together. It's fun till you get griefers. Yeah, that was one thing I was, I was worried about. It's like... I could just open this server up to like, like when I'm playing, just be like, oh, here's the code. The first three people can play, right? But then my thoughts were, well, what if they just go and take everything? Or what if they go and just start breaking stuff? You never know, right? It's a mixed bag. But I do like the idea of doing it in the future just to like, you know, try it out, you know. I could use a band of thieves, you know, to help me out and acquire items. All right, so we basically have that set. I don't know what I should do with these bottles. Here, let's start walking to Skaki. There's a mod for Don't Starve Together to deal with griefers. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping Medieval Dynasty gets mods eventually. They've talked about it, but it's not in the current roadmap. So I don't think we're getting mods for this game this year. Maybe if we're lucky next year. That's, that's a ways away. But I've never played Don't Starve before. Bozina, buy my stuff. Oh, on top of flatbread, bags. That's that's how you make money. Those bags are like really good. Once you start getting flax coming in, obviously you're gonna have leather coming in. You'd be making bags for days. I'm gonna sell all the bows under 50. Same with these spears. Who wants this? Yeah, I've heard about the game. I just, I don't know. I've never picked it up.
I think around the time I was hearing about Don't Starve, I was really into like Darkest Dungeon. That was like my big thing. I'm not going to be using tin bars for a while. We're just going to sell those. Same with the vial. RIP wooden vials. Sell the wine. We got a good amount of money. Is there anything we need to buy? Get an excavation shed to produce copper and sell copper hammers. Yeah, I need the excavation shed and I need a smithy. So what I need to do is get my production up. I'm lacking on production. I was hoping to level my production by making flatbread. You know what? Maybe we can still do that. Let's... I just don't think I have that much money. You again. Because we can do like a, a trade. We can just spend all of our money, buy. We'll just buy like grains. We'll turn it all into flatbread. We'll lose some money, but we'll gain a lot of production. And I kind of need more production than. This amount of money, I would say. Marcus Law. Let's get the wheat. Just by like 60. I don't want to spend all of it. All right, let's get some flatbread going. How is life treating you? <laughs> as soon as I get a smithy going, I'll just start focusing on mining every season. Because since we're next to Skaki, we can get iron really early. And you don't need tech points to smell iron at the moment. So that's just what we'll do when we need money. I should probably corral these pigs too. Oh, look it. Crispy bacon is this big hog. They're just relaxing. In the snow. Probably not that relaxing. Turn the wheat into wheat grain. Turn all the wheat grain into flour. How much flour is that going to be? 300? That's a lot of flour. I just left that tree there. I need to take care of that. Maybe I'll just leave that. She'll be fine. I think I put all my flour away. I got the money to make flatbread. 
191 flatbread. This definitely doesn't make my money back. But even 191 flatbread should boost my production. There it is. We got the smithy. Can we... That got us to 148. We got the sewing hut too. I don't think that popped up. Maybe it's because I'm in my... So the sewing hut, with the sewing hut we can make bags, which is even more money. And then the smithy, we can make tools. Obviously that's money. Let's do it like right here. All right, well, I'm too encumbered. Oh, I still got plenty of flour to make too. If you buy flour and sell flat bread, you'll make profit. Yeah, especially once you get barter, you can just buy out all the grains Convert it, sell it, and make a profit. We need water. And I'm too heavy. We're just going to drop all this flatbread on the ground. I'm sure it'll be okay. No, we can go back to Piestovia and get a fair amount of money. I mean, this might actually generate a profit even without barter. I've only tested it with barter. But even without barter, even if let's say you were losing coins, I feel like the production tech you get from flatbread alone just makes it worth it. And then if you have to, and then you keep making flatbread, which makes you have to keep filling up buckets of water, which levels up your extraction. Like it's like a, there's like just this loop. Let me put the buckets away. These are going to hold us down. I think I used all the flour. Yeah. Pick up this flatbread. If I can drop some stuff. I'm a little heavy. Yeah, I still need to get that guy at the B root. I'm gonna go to Piasovia, go sell, go check the notice board. Honestly, I'll probably just buy the B root. I have so much flatbread, I can just trade for it. And then once I get enough dynasty rep, I can get one more person in the village. And if that person is working a woodshed, 
Then I won't have to worry about getting logs and sticks anymore. What I really need to do is figure out this dumb riddle. <laughs> I'm just locked behind not being able to use this vendor because I'm too uh, impatient to look between the houses right now. All right, ma'am, please buy as much flatbread as you can. And then I'm going to buy it. You only have 10 beetroot? Can I help you? You look stuck, lady. 1700 coins. Yeah, I, I guess I did make a profit. Best, have a good day. They're totally going to nerf flatbread. You you know they're going to do it. It's going to be like wooden vials all over again. It's going to get nerfed so hard. That you're never going to have to be able to make it. There's going to be no reason to make it. Oh, it's you again. Yeah, stone knives and um, wooden vials. Like, he's just be able to level up so much, get so much XP. Oh, it's you. 47 beat root. Want to see you soon. We almost have enough. My said she'll let me do that. How do you do? Wait, is this the... Is this the... Wait, no. You're, you're not the vendor. You're in between the vendor. I need six more beat root. Are there... Any vendors? Any other vendors? Surprises. Don't eat the yellow snow. What's up, Julian? All right, let's think about this. <laughs> what time is it? Six? An hour and a half till we can... Oh, wait, I didn't check the notice board. Crow, Fox, Derwin with Salt, and Wicker Basket. I think we can do all of these. What do you guys think? Crow might be annoying. I gotta find where the crows are. I feel like... I feel like the crows are, like, right here. Aren't there, like, crows that just hang out right here? Or are these pigeons? Oh, these might be pigeons. You don't think the hunting's worth it at all? This guy, though. I'm gonna buy all the lavender honey. Oh, everybody's going to bed. Where's Marcus Law? 
I need you guy. You're saying it's not worth the time. I mean, I, I could see that. Especially if you had to like hunt deer. I don't even touch deer anymore since the newest update. They're just not worth it. We have 800 coins. I mean, I can make a profit. Why not? We're going to buy... I don't remember which one gives more. I'll just buy the, the rye for now. I'm sure I'll do both of them by the end of the, the season. But the salt's pretty easy. The beetroot, I'll get done soon. The wicker baskets, I can make at home. Rye and oats are the same. Wheat gives more. I knew wheat gives more, but I didn't know. I don't remember. I didn't remember about the rye or the oats. I already bought out the the wheat, I think. There might be some more left, though. That's another quest. All right, we got enough money to get home. I'm going to take... We're not going to start insulating yet. We're going to take Builder's Trance. I bet there are some small wicker baskets around town I could... I could take. But I don't need it. Take me home, Wagoner. Rye is the best crop in the game because you don't need hops to craft its beer. I don't think I've ever craft much rye beer before. I know the tavern is just really good later. But I was always like a big mead person, especially when you get a lot of the honey coming in. How many sticks do I have? Small wicker basket. I have just enough to make four. Nah, she's fine. She's sleeping. She's just working in a slightly hazardous work environment. She can, she can make do, you know? I'm dying of thirst. He was like, I hate my life while working. I mean, you know what? Fine. We'll, we'll make her life slightly more pleasant. We'll leave that one there. Uh oh. It's that it's it's a part of her job. She's 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 got it. She's got it. I need more 
clothes or some fire. Guys, this is this is where everything goes downhill. Let's drink this. Why am I poisoned? I'm fine. I drank the potion so I I can consume more stamina. I'm gonna pick up some straw. I should better warm myself up. And I'm not going to freeze to death. Huh. Oh yeah, I saw you said about the the thousand straw thing too. Like, dude, you gotta you gotta sit there for a long time to pick up straw. I like to do like 100, 200 at a time. It'd be, I should try and like calculate how much I need before I like hit the excavation shed, you know? It's biting cold. No, it's okay. We'll survive. See, I don't need warm clothes. If you pick it all at first, you never have to pick it again. I mean, yeah, I can see that. I've probably come back to this patch five or six times. And if you cleared it from the start, Yeah. And honestly, it would respawn faster, too. How much do I have left? I'm just going to keep the other four torches on me. And these should... These should keep me going. Get a hat? Alright, let's get a hat. How much money do I have? Uh, I need to make flatbread first. I know just the place. But I have no money. But if I got a hat, I would hide this luscious hair. You really want me to do that? No one would know I look like Jesus. Alright, flatbread time. Did I make the flour or do I still need to do that? I need to do that. He still haven't finished that. Okay. I mean, I guess I didn't need to finish it because I found all those arrows off the bandits. But I am paying taxes on it. So I should probably use it as soon as possible. Can I make these guys do something? There's there's like nothing going on this season. You guys are just sitting around doing absolutely nothing. I really don't have anything they could do anyway. 
if I got the hunting lodge going, I could put them in the hunting lodge for the season. Fine, I'll pick up these logs. Enjoy your hospitable work environment. I'm just a few sticks short. Oh no, everybody's dying. We got a hunting lodge. Temporarily, we're going to throw these guys in here. They're definitely not hunters, but... I'm not really desperate need for food. But I don't know how much leather they're going to be getting. If I recall correctly, hunters level fastest when they are getting and feathers weirdly but I don't really need them gives them something to do for now Rather than just stand around and do nothing. All right, back to flatbread. Give them a bucket of water. Yeah, leather's needed, but they don't really gather that much, unfortunately. Hundred ninety-eight flat uh, flatbread. See, as soon as I make enough flatbread, I'll unlock a market stall, and then I can just make a market stall that sells flatbread. Will be the flatbread village. Workshop two, pretty good. I'll take handyman now. It looks like they nerfed the amount of XP you get from extracting water. You used to get like a lot of extraction XP for doing that. It's okay, but it used to be ridiculous. 
Well, I definitely get some. I just got some right now. But I remember like a couple patches ago, you could fill like 20 buckets and it would just go from like 1 to 10. It was just... It was... It was broken. It's the only way I could explain it. Faster mining. That's going to be what we're doing next. Put some buckets away. Was that all the flatbread? Nope, I got a little bit more. Keep the buckets over here. I'm definitely going to come back to these. I'm being weighed down a bit, but I'm kind of going to have to... I think I'm going to have to deal with it. Oh, here's another trick you guys may not know about. I don't feel my fingers. If you hold... This is only a PC exploit it's another fix that uh, the developers need to work on but if you hold w and the forward arrow at the same time you run faster when encumbered and i don't think it works if you're completely encumbered like you can't move at all but if it's just like a percentage if you hold w and the forward arrow you move faster I do look like Jesus, don't I? I'm like a... How would you explain it? I basically just chose the Rasmir template and then just gave him hair and a beard. So it's like Rasmir if he's like on the run. He got exiled because he kept stealing things in the valley. I'm freezing to death. I should remember to pull out my torch. I think I took all your money. Yeah. Is there anything from you that I need? So. No. I really want to get a donkey. How is our farming looking? 190? We're like 60 points away from a donkey. Oh. Best good luck. Huh. Huh. We got some coins, so we have some money to go to Piestovia. We're going to sell the rest of Piestovia, turn in the quests, and then we're going to go on another adventure while we have daylight. I consider upgrading my wagon. You should upgrade your wagon with how much money I give you, bro. This dude gets thousands of coins a season, probably just for me. Oh, good. Oh, I forgot to buy the beetroot. You're right. Maybe I could start from over here. I don't know about that. We'll see. How are you? Give him the baskets. Let me sell the rest of my stuff. I got plenty of money. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll take the trip. If I had a hat and boots, I wouldn't need the torches. 
I'm 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 trying. See, that's the pl all right. After I get the beer, the adventure is gonna take us to a hat. How can I help you? Cause you know me, I'm not gonna buy the hat. I have to either steal it. Yeah, that's it. All right, where is our vendor? So this guy? Oh, you got beetroot for days. It was just six I needed, right? All right, back to Piestovia. Is there anything in this village worth taking? I'll be honest, the only village I really know where like good stuff is, is Piestovia. But my guess is if there was something here, it would either be in the fishing hut or in those houses in the back. Fishing spears, yeah. Buy raw fish and sell roasted. How much is raw fish? Oh, look at this. Yes. I'll take that. I went in here already. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay, I can't. I was never using the name Jesus. I just said I looked like Jesus. Though if you go to the beginning of the video, I did type in Jesus for like five seconds. How can I help you? Jesus used to multiply things. Yeah, Jesus knew the duplication glitches of real life. Cabbage, cabbage, what rhymes with cabbage? Package, average baggage. Uh, here's your beet roots. Well, I need these rhymes to work. Me. I got you, dude. Onions have layers. Living in a smaller village must be so They're great cool. for all players. Buy me from an egg. Please don't make me big. Once you eat my bread. Your enemies will drop dead. Once you eat my bread, you'll be free from dread. No refunds, and I don't care that it's been less than uh, this is dumb, but I applaud you. Huh? I have to wait a season for the dynasty rep. He's robbing me. Well, I stole from Astoya so I, so I can sell here. So this bow. I think I'm going to keep the knife. Yeah, I'm going to keep the knife. All right, next plan, we're hitting these houses. 
We're going here. I must have my crossbow. And maybe I can show you some like other loot places along the way. We got some foxes out here. How many torches do I have left? I just realized this. I, I made the bad torches. Is this my last one? <laughs> oh, no. Did, you, did I already do the end of the world guy? I think I did that on my main storyline. I don't think I've done it on here. We have to go, like, tell everybody. Eight torches. Surely this will last us the rest of the season. Sometimes there's a camp over here. I don't see it, though. I think right here is the... This is what I'm looking for. I'm getting my hat. Go to the swamp and set, a, set up an idol or some stuff. Pretty funny. I haven't done much stuff in the swamp. I've talked to the crazy guy, though. Uh-oh. I hear pigs. Where are they? I hear you. Oh, there you are. Did I really sell my bow? Why do I do these things? Why did I do that? It's okay. I got a, I got a, I got a iron spike cudgel. Oh, two pigs. I'm going to quick save really quick. All right, let's do it. Iron spike cudgel OP. Why do you run? Why are you running? See, see, everything's all good. I think I just stepped on a bird. Everything is all good. And then you can't forget behind here there's no more boars right yes who needs a bow when I could just take this one I totally planned this out dice set And now we can equip our long fur hood. 
Am I still going to be freezing to death? Oh, there's some torches in here. Hopefully this will hold us over. If not, I mean, we got extra torches. Next, we're going to go to the tavern. Nope, I'm still freezing to death. Okay. I guess I do need some boots. There's more loot? What'd I miss? So I got the barrel. I got everything under here. I got the stuff up here. Oh, I didn't? Oh no, I just left the clay vases. Those are two. Those aren't worth picking up for me. Um... And then, I don't think there's anything in here. I think there's more clay in here, but I didn't pick these up. I guess I could just take the clay, but now I'm encumbered. My honey pot ran out, so I'll just drink another one. Poison myself some more. Pop a potion as well. I think I got everything. Unless there's something else here that... You know about that I don't. I think that's everything. Yeah, they got the recurve bow. Recurve bow's your favorite? I've always been an iron crossbow guy. I think I think I used the iron crossbow to get the an, a certain achievement. I forgot what that achievement was. There's one that you have to like hit a target from like super far away. That achievement sucked, but I think I used a crossbow for that. Can you rapid fire faster with a bow? Get the dried figs. Huh. Cheese, coins, stone. More coins, meat bottles, hops. Nothing. Berry wine. Not bad. As far as I know, that's everything here. I always wondered if there were, like, stuff under the inn or something. But I don't think there is. What's that? Yep, next stop, we're going to the, the island to the north with that bandit camp. And hopefully, there might be some more bandits. Am I hearing combat music? Sometimes there's bandits down here, but I don't think they're there. Nope. No bandits. I see something, though. 
Oh, maybe there are bandits. No, I don't see him. Faith jump? Nah, I'm too I'm too far. Oh, look at this. An iron axe. Another recurve bow? Shoot the food on something warmer. Dried fish meat. Another torch. Bear. Oh my goodness. This little camp has so much money. Oh my god. Two fur boots. Being Jesus, he has God on his side. I have God and anime on my side today. Boots, gloves. They're just handing me things at this point. Did I just, I just drop that? Where did it go? What happened? Oh, I put it back. There we go. Yeah, I'm decked out. I am decked out. See, that camp may not have been there if I came here earlier. I don't need the torch anymore. I mean, it's nice for the light <laughs> at night, but I'm not going to be able to use it when I'm shooting my bow. Do I look cool now? All right, bandits. All right, ignore that shot. Ow. That looks painful. Yeah, I got some clothes. There was a camp down here, uh, Dreadnought, that had Two sets of fur boots, thick leather gloves, a second recurve bow, an iron axe, a fishing spear, three bags. Uh, there was, there was too much. All right, buddy. Ow. I'm gonna take you out. All right, that was a little too close. But I'm encumbered, so I need to do something. I mean, I should just drop all this until I clear out the area. What am I thinking? I just, did I just eat that? Just ate a little bit of raw meat. Oh, these are going to roll. Okay, that's not a good idea. Can I put them here? There we go. I know there's more of you in there. It was just you? Okay. Thumbnail this arrow in the head. I should I should take a screenshot of this. That's so sad. 
This is a funny bug, though. That they just die standing up. Everybody is Thor's from Vinland Saga out here. We all die standing up. They're not dead, they're just rebooting. They'll restart tomorrow morning. I know we got some copper bolts here. We got a copper knife. I know we have a bronze knife. I think we picked up everything else off the ground. There's a lot in this, like, area. Now we gotta do some parkour. Nice. Iron knife, 300 coins, and the crossbow. Our hero killed the bandits and looted all what they had. See, guys, I'm becoming the hero. I'm becoming the hero. I started as the villain. I'm. A it's character development. Ignore this, though. Wait, I got everything, right? Is there anything I missed? Because I'm pretty sure all these other houses have, like, nothing in them. Huh. Let's make sure we looted these guys. He's been looted. He's been looted. And now we'll we'll make the leap of faith. I'm sure I'll be fine. Wait a minute. How come when I die, I don't die standing up? That's not fair. Why is everybody cool except me? Anyways, we made it home. And... We're kind of stacked. We can cook all this meat. I have some bolts now. I'll probably keep these recurve bows. You were going to tell me to jump. Yeah, it's it's the easiest way to get back home. What can I say? I do notice that other bug too, though. Like when you get in and out of boxes lately, it wasn't always like this, but when you get out of them, sometimes you won't, like, walk. You just, like, slide across the ground. Alright, I'm way too heavy. Drop the logs, the buckets, the, the salt, the leather. Actually, give me that leather. Never mind. We're going to save the leather to make regular bags. Put the tin away. Let's put the copper away. The fur. I think we're selling everything else.
Actually, well, let, me, let me do one more thing before I go to sell. They're going to keep burning my logs because I keep forgetting to make firewood for them. And I should have fixed this a while ago. Now I'll have plenty of logs or firewood. They won't keep burning my stuff. And I'll just leave these here for now. All right, let's go sell. I made one fire pit with benches around it that people would face away from the fire. That's funny. You gotta reset your, your benches then. Maybe that's what they did with this bench over here. They just flipped it around and that's why she just likes to sit the opposite way. See, she's doing it. I can see her doing it right now. Why are you like this? When nothing hurts you. Scar Bermira. Can I invite a new villager? No. I am still in need of rep. Or where am I? I I'd need a house anyway, wouldn't I? We'll deal with it later. All right, let's go to Piastovia. Piastovia. Oh, there's a... All right, maybe not yet. I'm kind of curious what's over there. And actually, I'll just buy one thing, too. There's still a lot of things I have not explored. So I'm going to do that. One of these food gives me moo or weight limit. A meat pie. My wear take. Why did that poison me though? Here. She's poisoning me. Help you? She gave me bad food. Or maybe that's just what it does. Nope, she's just trying to kill me. Well, I'll sell whatever I can to her. I am dirty. Why shouldn't I have eaten it though? Yeah, that makes sense why my prices were messed up. So I don't have any St. John's wart. Am I just gonna have to persist through this entire poison? I do have healing potions. Wait, the poison's because I'm dirty? I did not know if you got too dirty, that would happen. I guess I've just never allowed myself to get this dirty. I'm dying of my own filth. I'm dying of stink, guys.
Oh, this looks like some... This looks like this could be something good. It's empty. Oh, that's not that good. 16% iron axe. Oh, a pan flute. Hundred twenty coins. It's not bad. It's definitely worth coming by. I just wish the dumped loot wasn't empty. Oh, I see a camp. A lot more loot on this map there really is like it feels almost like double or triple if you like compare it to oh there's nothing here this is empty but yeah there's still like so much like random loot laying around especially if you take into account what's in people's houses you know not that i would take any of it A 0% iron pickaxe? How does that even work? I think I've been in here. Excuse me, Gilbert. Okay, now I'm going to go to Piastovia. How do you do? Now we're gonna sell everything we got. So bags, bottles, wine. Fifty-four coins. Is it even worth selling? I feel like I could get more use out of just using it. Out of coins. I'll probably keep the potion of possibilities, even though I don't know when I'm going to respec. I'll keep the wooden bolts as a last resort. I have plenty of arrows, so I shouldn't need to use them. And I got plenty of clothes. So, I mean, tool-wise, we're doing pretty good. Now we can start making... We can work on the smithy. I got a lot of the stuff up there. I got 4,000 coins. We'll buy out the rest of the the flour, the oats, the oat grain. This is going to be all my money. But we'll get it back. You know, you never do think... Anything like that. Take things for people. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, I never do things crazy like that. See, they're lucky there wasn't anything, you know, 
super valuable in that house. All right, well, I have. I want to go make that flatbread. How can I help you? Have I checked the the tax collector's house? Uh, Mirror God, the Castellan. I think he was. I think he was the first place I went to. <laughs> As soon as I finished the tutorial, I ran into his house and stole all of this stuff. And that's how I bought myself these bags. It was so nice of him to get me all these nice gifts. We're going to get this flatbread, make the grain, thresh it. I feel like this will make us more than... Because how much is... Uh, each flatbread sells for like four and a half. So... That's already a lot of money. 1,200... I, I'll probably like break even maybe a little bit more but the process of filling all of these buckets is gonna take a while so what we're gonna do is just leave all the flour right here and I'm gonna clear my bags as much as possible Wrong house. Resource storage. I don't want to put the... I'll give her the stone axes, because I'll use the iron ones. I'll put the battery curved bow away. The stone. The knives will be good for the hunters right now. They kind of need those. I would. I wish you could like give uh, other villagers clothes and like have them wear certain outfits. Then I would know what to do with all these leftover clothes instead of just selling them or holding on to them for, I guess, summer. All right, who's missing something? I guess they're not missing anything. All right. Where do I leave my buckets? Time to get this bread. We'll leave that. Actually, we'll throw all of our food in here. I got a lot of food. I should sell this. Realistically. Oh, in the kitchen chest. Yeah, you're right. Yes, there they are. Thank you. Buckets. Flour. 150 at a time. I'm going to need more buckets. We'll put the flat right away. Yeah, 
And if this doesn't level up like our extraction, I don't know what will. See, this is the alternate timeline where it's if Jesus was a baker. Production? All right. How's our production? Our production's already five. Pretty good. Smithy 2? I haven't even built the first smithy. <laughs> I guess we're skipping smithy 1 and going straight to smithy 2. It's this flatbread. It's too good. More flat bread. Imagine how much flat bread you can make if you're playing unlimited carry weight. You'd be making billions at a time. More flatbread. Sewing hut two? I also don't have a sewing hut one. Thousands? Yeah, definitely thousands. Did you work computers? Just rehab an old Dell 17 NVIDIA video card, 16 gigs RAM, and one terabyte SSD storage. $200 and this thing rocks. That's pretty good. I work with a lot of like re refurbished stuff with my job. Hi, why I'll always build first house type. You talking about like waddle houses? I don't know. I just don't feel like picking up, spending all the first day or two picking up rocks. Just have some stone houses. Once I get like an extraction hut and I can get stone being produced, that's usually when I start upgrading houses. And besides, um, mood is better for villagers who are higher level. They're not going to get as much of like a percentage increase. I like lower levels. I feel like it's more worth it at the higher end. It's still good, but I usually like to wait to the mid game to build the second and third tier houses. All right, did we make all of the flatbread? 
All right, we have all of our flat bread. And I think we've almost broken all the buckets, too. That's not good. But we'll give them water. I got another extraction skill. Mule. Careful, miner. I feel like I should have filled this up earlier. Because at this point, I'm probably going to take Miner's Trance. Maybe that's why. Maybe I... Maybe I will respec a little bit later. We'll see. Hundred and seventy one. I'm not going to be able to take all this flatbread at once. Hmm. some of this stuff away. How well can I move? I can still move fairly well with a hundred and whatever. Probably because I still have this buff going. Been in tech a long time. Used to deal with dial-up modems, rent entire houses, and fill them up with modems. Yeah, I can't say I've ever dealt with dial-up before. <laughs> I maybe had dial-up when I was... 10 years old. Actually, I had satellite internet for a long time. That stuff was that stuff was awful. How are you? Back to Piestovia. Yeah, let's go to Piestovia. Which settings do you use like XP rate, season length? Um, 3 day seasons. Fast crafting, fast building. Everything else is default. So XP rates are all the same. Um, cool. I'm playing with limited carry weight. My I mean, I could just show it. I did turn building limit up to 200% for when I need to. But I'm not really at that point yet. But aside from that, yeah, fast crafting, fast building are enabled. Everything else is default. How do you want to see? Have a good day. Oh, it's you. Is there anything else I should buy from this guy? Nah, we're just gonna leave everything else. I'll start buying ore and the other raw resources once I get some points in barter. Maybe I should start flirting. Tried playing on default 100% XP with a friend and it was hell level gains for hours. Yeah, it, de it definitely takes a while. I know I turned it up on my original playthrough. But I mean, for a first day, Solo, I'm not doing too bad. I think the thing that's going to take the longest for me to level. Like, my production's almost at a thousand. 
production's gonna be a while. But I feel like getting to iron for 5,000 won't be terrible. Especially once I get my own farms and I'm making my own wheat grain and oat or whatever, just so I can get some flour. Maybe I'll spend a day placing 5,000 logs to level my, my building, but there are kind of like ways you can cheese it. There are more optimal ways to level, I guess, is the better way to say it. I'm going to go back to Skaki. I need my... I want to sell the rest of my flatbread before the end of the season. Because all the vendors are going to reset their, their money. What was it? AOL something? Yeah, AOL. I think that was what it was. I think that's what I had when I was a kid. No, dude, I remember back then, like, I remember... Oh, this is so long. I was playing... I was probably, like, 12. And I got my first, like, or 11. I had my, my first high-speed internet. And I wasn't really big into, like, online games. I maybe played, like, Xbox or Xbox 360 at that time. But then... I went to over to like a friend's house and they played World of Warcraft and I got instantly addicted. And so I like begged my mom to get a computer and I remember I got a what was it? 512 megabytes in RAM or gig? It was something weird like that. It's been so long. But yeah, now we're in like terabytes. I mean, RAM hasn't gone to terabytes, but. I just remember being like, oh, wow. I got so much speed and it was like. A megabit a second. I was going to put some stuff away. But I think I can do without it. Pick up this flatbread. Is there something I can drop? There's nothing I would want to leave in the kitchen. We'll make do. We're still moving fine when we when we strafe. Yeah, getting to a mine is a pain, and that's kind of why I started building next to Skaki. Because at least with uh, Piastovia, or sorry, the Oxbow, if you get your production to 5,000, you can start making iron tools. And you don't even need a mine. So you can just rely on Skaki for a bit before you level your building. Hello there. I wish I totaled the amount of money I've spent just going back and forth on Wagoners. I've probably spent so much. Alright, where's Marcus Law? He's got all the money. All right, we got 4k coins again. And our production is twice as high, so. I'll take these sticks. And 
And I'll take the logs. I might as well carry those home with me. Did I do all of my quests? I bet I didn't. Oh, I did. This one I have to wait for the next season. Starting to run out of juice before you can iron. Yeah, I mean... I think playing like 200, 300% XP boost, especially at the start, makes things a bit better. It feels less of a, I would say grind. Because there's definitely a lot of, of grind to this survival crafting game. As there are with a lot of them. Like even though this game is grindy, like, Ark Survival Evolved. Or I guess it's Survival Ascended now. That's a grindy game. Not that that's not that it's bad. I like Ark, but the end game grind in that game compared to this, oh! Once you hit like level sixty in Ark, it gets real. No, I love Ark too. I think I put. I think I have like five. I'd pro I probably have more uh, hours in Ark than this game, to be honest. I think I want to say I have like 400, 500 hours. I guess that would be about the same then. I think I'm in like 450, 500 on this game. Well, we made it back to the village. Drop off some stuff. Sticks, clay. What's left over that I haven't built? The smithy and the sewing hut? You have 1,600 hours in Ark and Medieval Dynasty? Damn! That's crazy. Wait, what is this building? Oh, this is the Smithy one. So much for that. I think my most played game around those hours is probably like Smite. I don't want to think about how many hours I have in World of Warcraft. I might consider moving some buildings around in the future. For now, though, we're going to put the smithy, like, Right here. I'm not really planning this village, that's for sure. And then... Can I put this right next door? Please... Oh, okay. I'll put it right here. Have I played Valheim? I have played some Valheim. I haven't beaten it for sure. I think I've killed three or four bosses. Uh, no, that Valheim's pretty good though. I'd say like, it's a mix of that like survival crafting, but it's kind of got like, Minecrafty slash Dark Souls vibes to them with like the you can break the floor or the the earth and then you have like bosses. 
And you have 2k hours and don't starve. But that was 10 years in the making. Hey, you know? If I really counted my hours for World of Warcraft, it would be in the thousands. But, you know, it, it took more than a decade to get to that point, for sure. I don't really have... I wanted to build these. But I don't think I have the supplies. Two stone. Yeah, that's not the greatest. I'll probably end up saving those for next time. I'm about it's about to be the end of the day anyway. And it's raining. I made it through my first year. For sure, you already understand the basics of the game. If you don't want more tutorials on, I can disable them. Or want to disable part of the HUD. What HUD are you disabling? For challenge? It's no big deal. Yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna call the stream day, guys. Oh, we got our we got our rye. This was a lot of fun though. I streamed for what the hell? Seven hours? Seven hours and got through one year of the game. I'm sure people, you guys, if you get some of you play with, you know, more than three days, it takes you guys longer, but Dang, this was straight. Next time, I think I want to build a bigger field. Finish off these buildings. Maybe get some more pigs. Expand a bit more. We got a lot done. How are our skills looking? Five in extraction. Zero in hunting. I did no hunting. Two farming, one diplomacy, three survival, five production. So my extraction and production are going up pretty quickly. My farming is, or my hunting is pitiful. I'm almost at one point, but. Oh, is that what I was talking about? Play like this? I don't want to play like this. I like using that for pictures, but if that's what they meant by playing. Mm, I mean, it's a challenge, sure, but I don't know. If I would constitute it as fun personally. I guess we're at year two. All right, we are saved. But yeah, thanks guys for coming by and hanging out. Henry K. Disaster Strikes, Dreadnought. It was good talking to you guys. Vox as well. I know Michael was around a little bit earlier. But to everybody that uh, hung out for a little bit or is watching right now, you know, thanks for hanging out, even if you're just lurking. I, did, I had a lot of fun doing this, actually, so... I don't know, I might do another stream in the future. So if that sounds good to you guys... Consider hitting a like on this video. Uh, maybe checking out some of the community posts in the uh, future. I might talk about streaming in those. But yeah, I got a couple videos I'm working on right now. I haven't really talked about it much, but I have... My next video is going to be a skill video. It's going to be a tutorial video. I'm just going to be going over all the skills, skill points, which I think... Which skills I think are the best ones to take. If you want to throw some suggestions on which skills you think are really cool or I should talk about, drop them in the comments. And then I want to talk about Medieval Dynasty VR because I don't feel like a lot of people have been looking at that that much. I don't think it's going to be as popular as 
medieval dynasty in general, but I think a lot of people would be interested in at least checking it out. So that's the plan for the next couple weeks, guys. Just give a, a little taste for the people that were hanging out in the stream. Thanks for the company. It was awesome. Have a great week. You too, Henrique. It was a lot of fun. Once again, guys, y'all have a, a good rest of your weekend. Troll you soon, brother. Thanks, man. <laughs> I'll finish clearing out the rest of the villages next stream. No one will have anything left. And check out Don't Starve. Yeah, I'll throw that in my, uh, my wish list. I've heard about it a lot. I just haven't really checked it out, so. Maybe I'll check it out a little bit after stream, look into it. But thanks so much, Dreadnought, for hanging out. It was good talking to you guys. And I'll see you around. Take care, guys.